Hey y'all, give me one second. I'm just double checking some things real quick. You're gonna hear, by the way, Steven in the background. He's just doing some work while we stream today, but we should be good to go. Let me know if the audio is okay or if I need to make any adjustments, like the music might be too loud or my mic needs to be louder. I think we should be okay, but I just wanna make sure that everything's good on y'all's end too. But I'm gonna just double check something real fast and then we should be good to go. I am not sure how long today's stream is gonna be. If you're new to my channel or you maybe don't follow me on my other socials, me and Steven adopted <laughs> the Gaston pose. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. We adopted a new puppy and she has been quite the work and handful mostly because she's just going through that puppy stage and keeping me busy uh, we're going through potty training she's not even 11 weeks yet so hopefully she's good today this is my first time not paying fully attention to her but that's why i've been a little bit late on streams this week too just because it's like having a newborn baby all over again <laughs> i know steven's like aggressively typing uh, in the background, but she's a toy poodle and her name is Waffles. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, she's super sweet. I know. I know. Like, I'm telling you, my dream one day is to just have like a giant farm so I can uh, so I can adopt like all the animals. But she's going to be our last one for a while. I cannot handle anymore. <laughs> Plus, I can't afford anymore. So, uh, yeah, so I've been really tired. Hold on, I'm just like cleaning this up real quick. But do you, okay, so I need, I need y'all's thoughts. Should we do dream snaps first? Because I'm worried we're gonna get super invested. So do we do dream snaps and then our storage room? Like what do y'all want to do? It's your call. But um, just let me know in the chat. Anyways, if you're new here, you're gonna be so proud of me. I usually spiral and flatten everything. So I have almost, three entire biomes done i do have this recorded by the way like the whole entire uh build process we did i think finish some of this on streams too but i'm trying to clean some of this up real fast just because before streaming i was trying to get this done but i want to get this all cleaned up <laughs> Addison, said hello and also i probably should go through the chat let me do this real quick <laughs> um scrolling to the top so be 
be ready for me to ignore you just for a split second. Hello, Ducky. Hello, Alpha. Hello, Tracy. Welcome back. And Harley, thank you so much for the like. Rebby, it's so good to see you. I'm not going to obviously say hi to Nightbot because Nightbot was late today. Like, so rude. And is it Angelica? Thank you so much for being here. Amy, hello, hello. Hello, Chris. Hello, Amy. Hello, Mars. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Alan. Is it Sinek? I, I've seen you on my streams a few times, but I always feel like I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but welcome in. <laughs> Not the entrance with Gaston. Okay, look, I'm trying to get him leveled up because I want to move him into my cottage neighborhood. So we're gonna have to deal with him just for a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking dream snaps to get it done because y'all know how invested I get. So I feel like it would be wise to do it. With that being said, we can get rid of Gaston for a little bit. I'm trying to get him leveled up so we can move him over where I think it's the blue cottage that I'm going to move his house to. I'll go show you all the forest in a second. I'm just trying to get this back to not being a bunch of random spammed resources. Jet, hello, friend. Thank you so much for being here. V, can you go ahead and get Jet's command for me? Jet, we are going to do dream snaps, I think, first before the gem room. So I was going to originally do like an ancient landing sort of vibe for the gem room, but I do not have enough resources. So we're going to do something pirate related. And Jet is going to be my inspiration. Jet did like this entire like cargo ship and it's insane. I am half tempted to copy you with the storage ship idea so I could do... Um, my main house like as an apartment or something but i'm too lazy i'm too lazy to relocate all all the stuff <laughs> thank you it's cynic spelled wrong i feel like i still said that wrong but i answered to both okay well just be ready to know that regardless i'm gonna pronounce your name wrong <laughs> it's just gonna happen because i'm bad with names um okay I think Waffles is like beating up her toy behind me. So sorry if you hear any like crinkle noises. <laughs> but thank you so much for being here. I hope y'all are doing good today. So this is where, let me see. I, I mean, it does make sense. And that's why it's like, you have such big brain energy. If you want to see that cargo ship, by the way, I do have Jet's video linked. It's just incredible. And it does make the most sense, but I don't want to relocate every build. So I'm like too lazy to do it. If I didn't have like almost all of my house done, I think I would go ahead and like relocate it. Um, Y'all give me one moment, hold on. Okay, sorry. So Steven got Waffles this like crinkle recess toy and it makes this loud noise. So she's mad now that I took it. All right, so I think for Gaston, I'm probably gonna replace the blue cottage with his house, because I do like this one being here. I could also put him technically where the flower cottage is, and I could do actually a build with it. So maybe I'll put his house like over here or something. So my forest actually is about to be done. It's really not that much left. I think we're gonna move Fairy Godmother maybe over here and then do like a couple of sitting areas, but it's really not that much left. I'll probably go for something simple over here, like a natural path. So I have resources like going in a dedicated location. But I mean, like, we really do not have that much left to do. So we're probably gonna finish this on a future stream. So just know that this is gonna be done together. I would say in one stream, but we will have to see how it goes. It could be very well, maybe two live streams. So we are gonna get this done regardless um, very soon. Ooh, the purple cottage would look cute moved to the Glade of Trust or Forgotten Lands. I like that. I agree, that would be really cute. <laughs> also, welcome back, Sunshine. Great to see you. Uh, yeah, I actually do like that idea quite a bit hold on my controller unplugged itself i just know i want him in the cottage neighborhood so it would be nice to relocate something i just want to do a nice build with this house too we need more cottages that's what we need 
Anyways, everything in the entire forest has been documented. This is my last speed build. If you are just popping in and haven't watched that video, I did do a bunch of this transitional work on that video. I would appreciate definitely, you know, a like on it, but I try to keep everything super functional. Thank you, Addison, for being here. And yes, enjoy, enjoy just relaxing. Get some cozy gaming in. And Parker, hello, welcome in. So that is the forest so far. We're, we're going to do a quick tour of everything just in case if you're new here or maybe you've missed a few streams and you're not sure what we've done. We have been very productive. Oh, they are? Wait, oh, the Discord alerts, not my stream alerts. My stream alerts still have not been working. Okay, let me fix that. Hold on. I had that muted. Okay, let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Thank you for letting me know. All right, let me mute it. We should be good to know. Thank you for informing me because I had to adjust things and turn it on to chat in your uh, Discord the other day. <laughs> um, okay, Mary, oh my gosh, when did you pop in? Hello, welcome in. We do, we need more cottages. I also want more customization options. Like I love the cottage base, but I would like to be able to change maybe like the rooftop color or the base of the cottage, you know? So we need to, we need to get some customization. Okay, so the next place that is actually completely done is my Forgotten Lands. And I went for like a trick-or-treating Halloween sort of vibe up in this biome. I actually really love how all of this turned out and I'm gonna enjoy it for a little bit. I don't wanna like tear it down because this is actually my favorite biome that we have created by far. And I'm blaming Jet for this because Jet had me decorating a Halloween theme when Halloween is over. So Jet is the one to blame. Hold on, I'm cleaning out some of my inventory. I want to move the zero spooky fox companion right here. So that's why that's empty. I just haven't been able to get it. I know Animal Crossing has really spoiled with the customization. Um, okay, so let me remove this too. Like I said, all of this has been documented. I wanted to do definitely a really nice, cozy Halloween vibe up here. <laughs> Literally, Jet's like, I'm making Halloween town. And it's like after Christmas. I'm like, why are you doing Halloween when it's over? And then I come over here and just start finishing this uh, biome up. <laughs> You did just sneak in. I was like, wait a second, when did, when did you pop in here? Henry, I don't know if I said hi yet, but if I did, here is a double hi, welcome back, and great to see you. I know, Jet just gets blamed for everything. Deserved, 100% deserved. So I got Jack's house over here, and then we're cleaning up as we do this tour. I need, I need to seriously like get some more resource clutter removed in here. Cause like everything is spawning in spots that I don't want it. Especially this, let me get rid of this thing. It's ruining the whole entire look. I actually moved fairy godmother over here for temporary. I don't really know what my plan is to like replace her. Oh my gosh, my inventory is full and there is nothing I can do about this. I'm gonna have to go come back here before we get started on the dream snap just so we can be able to, oh my gosh goofy why is everybody here all of a sudden oh my gosh <laughs> why i swear i have like the worst luck ever yeah i need to seriously try out the ancient vacuums but my my issue with them is they take so much dream light like somebody did a test and they said it's not really worth using because it takes so much dream light and I don't have a lot of dream light right now. We gonna, we gotta do like a dream light grinding stream at some point cause your girl needs it. Let me go clear out my inventory real quick and we can finish showing you the forgotten lands just in case if you missed it. I know, oh my gosh, don't even get me started on the dream snap thing. They, they always get in the way. Again, I'm sorry if you can hear any typing or noise crinkles in the background, not only are the dogs playing but Steven's doing stuff and he has a very clicky keyboard. <laughs> but yeah, I am so tired of the villagers getting away. Yeah, I don't have that much dream light. And oh, wait, the mist? 
Does it take the mist or dream light? Because someone told me it took dream light for the ancient machines. Because if it takes mist, I have a pretty good stash uh, already. Oh, wait, there's nothing in here. This is, by the way, where we're going to do our pirate themed storage room. But for my dream snaps, I'm going to do something surfer related. We're going to do Lilo and Stitch. So that's my plan. I mean, obviously, I can't really dress myself as Lilo. I could try, but I don't think we have anything that could technically work for it. All right, I need to put fruit in there and the ginger. I try to limit the vacuums to when I need to clean up or resource grind. The Forgotten Lands will cost about 690 to 700 mist. So if you only use it before building, it's not so bad. Okay, that's a little bit better to know. I still have a lot to build, like, you know, craft and stuff. So maybe I should wait. Hold on, Steven's asking me a question. All right, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Elizabeth, hello. And thank you so much, Harley, for your lurk. Yeah, I think regarding the mist situation, I'm just gonna craft everything that I want first before doing the vacuums from what it sounds like. Okay, so we need to get these out of the way. I mean, I do have a good stash going of the mist. I mean, I think I have like 26K, which technically isn't a lot, but it's most it's the most that i've had but thank you so much for being here oh my gosh kyle it has been a hot minute friend how are you doing it probably helps that i'm not streaming at two o'clock in the morning too because kyle's usually asleep when i stream kyle how are you oh my gosh beaded welcome in you finally caught a live stream i guess it kind of helps when i'm not streaming in the middle of the night right <laughs> I'm on a slightly normal schedule right now, which is icky for me because I prefer nights. So I need to get back on my night schedule. But at least if you're somebody who misses my streams, you actually get to watch it. Yeah, I do wish we could bring it around as well. What are you doing, Steven? What? Oh, he has another question. He's raising his hand like a preschooler. Okay, hold on, friends. Y'all can yell and blame Steven for interrupting me every five seconds. Yeah, I can ask this question live, <laughs> but I don't think you want me to. Okay, give me one second, friends. All right, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> Yes, it has been a while. I'm so excited to see you. Kat, oh my gosh, welcome in, friend. How are you doing, y'all? We just started, so if you're just popping in, you're right in time. I'm just clearing out my inventory real fast because we don't know what resources I'm gonna need to remove, especially if we're doing Dazzle Beach. And then I need to go back real fast and finish showing y'all the Forgotten Lands. I know, Steven's just like needy. So needy. I'm really glad that you can be here. I know that me streaming really late definitely makes it difficult to tune into streams. I forgot to uh, put in these dream shards. All right. Oops, that's not it. Does anyone else get annoyed that you can't place the dream shards or the um, night shards on tables? And I think there's some new resources that we just got that we also can't place. On tables it just drives me insane because how am i supposed to make my ideal storage room oh you're doing school so you have to get sleep no worries no worries thank you so much for popping in get some rest all right let me finish cleaning up the forgotten lands and we should be good to go i am not good at scramble coin do you want to know something i have not even attempted scramble coin because i can't wrap my brain around that i have not even attempted it I need somebody to do a scramble coin tutorial because I just don't get it. And yeah, I haven't even tried it. Why is this not removing? There we go. Anyways, so fairy godmother is going to be removed over here. She was kind of like a filler. So y'all need to like brainstorm some ideas for me on what to replace in this really small nook. I did consider, I don't know, like maybe... Well, no, I couldn't do a witchy potion area because I already did that behind my castle. 
So I don't know what to do over here. It's not really big. It's a very small spot. But we're going to be removing her and putting her, um, her house near Merlin. So she's going to be going. Um, all right. Let's see. I understand. Like, I stream really late because I'm a mom. So it's just easier to content create because there's no distractions. But lately, I have been, you know, streaming at a normal time. Especially since I have a new puppy in the house. It's just like having a newborn baby. So, yeah, I have been on a normal schedule with all that. Let me remove these over here real fast. I need to figure out some filler spots so those resources don't spawn over here. Mary, thank you so much for the like goal. And oh my gosh, thank you tons for all the likes already on today's stream. Y'all are on a roll. Oh, you got the puppy emotes. Thank you for the Shiloh emotes. All right, let's finish cleaning this up real quick. See, I just can't figure out the scramble coin gameplay. <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible at board games in real life. I don't even know how to play chess. So scramble coin is just overwhelming for me, but I do need to try to uh, tackle it. Yes, a new puppy. She is a toy poodle. And her name is Waffles. I posted a photo of her on Twitter, if you want to go see. But she is not even 11 weeks old yet. She's a tiny little baby, y'all. She's less than two pounds. She is just, she's so small that she doesn't even look real. But she's doing good. She's really smart. All right, let me clean this up real quick. Okay, so I did do like a little potion thing. So I don't know what to do in that one spot. See, I was originally going to put Vanellope in the Forgotten Lands and I just ran out of room because I was doing like a Halloween trick or treating sort of vibe. I don't even know if she would fit in this biome now. Yes, her name is Waffles. Don't ask me why we name our animals after food. We just do. I guess if I removed and made some minor adjustments, she might be able to fit over here. I could place her maybe where the mansion is. Maybe I could do the mansion over there. Thank you so much, Kyle. I am obsessed with her. She is such a cutie patootie. What you doing, Waffles? Okay, I'm just paying, watching over her because she, she has not been able to roam around as much like she's doing right now, and I just don't want her to get into something she's not supposed to. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to do for her house unless I remove the mansion over here. And I really like the mansion because it suits the Halloween look. But I put this over here as like a nice structure in the Forgotten Lands. And then this I hate so much, the tree house. I wish we could relocate it. It's like giving me so much trouble with designing issues and stuff. Like I was thinking with the DLC, we have to at least be able to relocate this. Now we're still stuck with it because I would rather put this in my Glade of Trust. And I just want it gone so bad because I can't decorate like all of this right here. I can't decorate that because of this thing. It won't let me like there's not enough space for it. But I also for this to get my pumpkins because this is my money maker. If you're new to Disney Dream My Valley, this is what's going to make you a ton of money. I made sure to have a little pumpkin farming area. Um, all right, so let's see. <laughs> There's a very popular art channel called Drawing with Waffles. Please tell your puppy she's very talented. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's awesome. Oh um, man, I see. I wanted to name her originally Daisy, but everybody else was like, "Not name her Waffles." Okay, so that is the Forgotten Lands. As for all the other biomes, nothing is done yet. I am, by the way, on a future stream or a video. It might we might start it on a video and then finish it on a stream. This is going to be the next project right here. Once we finish up the forest on the next couple of streams, we are going to be turning the peaceful meadow into a city. So I'm not sure if I want to go city core with this or town core. I'm kind of interested in the idea of city core because I do like the pavement road look. Oh, y'all give me one second. She's eating her puppy pad. Hold on. All right, sorry, that little poot. <laughs> I need, I need to get like a little page just for them, like a little Instagram page, Kyle, so I can share all their photos. I agree with this. 
with the amount of times that I take photos of them, they need like their own dedicated social. <laughs> Thank you, little corner for the lurk. And I hope that your nap goes good. All right. So what is my plan? Oh, yeah. And as for the robot companion, yes, I just got it. That thing was expensive. I struggle where to place her house so for, for so long, and it was perfect. I made a little path and dropped cookies. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, if I remove anything up there, I mean, I do want her in my Forgotten Lands. I think the best bet, and I hate that I would have to do this, I might need to remove the mansion, or if I can try to get her home to fit over here, I will. I am crate training, yes, because I don't want her getting into things when we have to go places. We crate train all of our dogs. It's just, it's a good place to keep them safe. But right now, because she's only been here for a week, I'm just working on basic commands with her. But that is the plan. This is going to be, I think, maybe, I think I will go city core with it if we get like more crosswalk options. But I don't know, the city core look is really nice. So I'm very tempted to do that instead of town core all right so with all that being said city core peaceful meadow is going to be next um okay so the dazzle beach this is also where we're going to be doing a dream snap y'all said you wanted to do dream snaps first so we will go ahead and do that i need to get stitch where is stitch at is he in the restaurant okay I'm doing Lilo and Stitch. So we're gonna do surfer uh, style. That's the plan. So we're gonna do that first. Then we'll get started on our storage room. If for whatever reason, I don't get the storage room completely done today, we will finish it before we start working on getting the um, Force of Valor completely done. So regardless, we will get it finished. But y'all said you wanted Dream Snaps first, so I will do Dream Snaps. <laughs> Hi, Ducky. Welcome in. Welcome in. Okay, friends, give me one moment and we should be good to go. There we go. Um, so I got Stitch. What kind of outfit do I want to wear? Let me get the filter on. I need something beachy. So surfer in a way. Like shorts and a, a tank top I think would be nice. I hope that it has an outfit that can work. Worst case scenario, maybe I can just justify a colorful something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I really want more fencing options and I want um, like crosswalk signals and more cars. That's for sure. So I was wearing this outfit because we were going to be doing our storage room, but let me change for that dream snaps. Let's see what we got. If I have the uh, Dream Snaps category on, will it pull up if I go by each option, like shirts and stuff? Okay, cool. It looks like it does. Um, Let's see. Do I want to do like a little crop top or something? Why is it giving me a sweater? Hold on. Definitely going beachy. I think there's a wetsuit, but I'm not sure. Let me look if I, and see if I have it. Wear the stitch hat. I could do the stitch hat. I don't know if I want to do my character all Lilo and Stitch theme, but it would be cute. Oh, y'all, give me one second. I'm so sorry. She's eating her uh, puppy pad again. That little poot. She wags her little butt, and she's like, I would never eat my puppy pad caught her red-handed I could do the stitch hat okay let me get the stitch hat and then we can match with it yeah we definitely would need to do something kind of like a wetsuit because of surfing I just need to see if it's under I just don't like how that looks okay the black one cute okay perfect I found the wetsuit perfect perfect okay shoes we're gonna do sandals I think hold on one second All right, sorry, Steven was making a bunch of rackets, so I may or may not have just chewed him out. <laughs> um, is this the wetsuit y'all were thinking of? Because I like that it matches the hat, so I think that's cute. 
Um, what other shoes do I have? I'm gonna just do the sandals and then the backpack. I don't think we need a bag, but it might say that I need something. What about neckwear? Because it's going to be like, oh, you're not wearing enough for dream snaps. So we'll do that right there. I think. Is this enough for the requirements? Let me double check this. I would go barefoot, but the issue is the fact that it'll say I don't have enough that I'm wearing. That's why I have shoes on. In a perfect world, I would do that. See, it says I don't have enough sporty. So it's going to tell me to put something else on. Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, let's see what else we have. Maybe bracelets. Oh, y'all, give me one second. Hold on. My computer is doing some weirdness, and I don't know what just happened. Is our stream still good? My computer just went, like, black for three seconds. I think... Okay, hold on. One second. Alrighty, y'all just let me know if we are good to go and back. So my computer crashed because of Disney Dream My Valley crashing. So we should be back and good. I just need to now get my PNG and everything uh, working again. If my PNG doesn't show up, we might have to go without her. But I don't know why lately Disney Dream My Valley has been crashing on me. So then it like causes everything that I used to also crash. So I apologize for that. We had the same issue last live stream and I did report the issue to um, Gameloft about it. But yeah, I've been having a ton of crashing issues and now it's loading like super slow. So hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know, if, have y'all had any of these issues with it too, like crashing? Cause it just does it to me ever so often, especially when I'm like streaming it. But we should be good to go. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Jeff, for supervising. When did, did Brick show up at all on stream yet, Jet? Thank you, Mars. And sorry again, y'all, for that crash. I don't know why my computer hates it when Disney Dream My Valley crashes. It just completely breaks for some reason. Hopefully that'll be the last crash for today. Now I need to go get Stitch back. It's good on PC, but not so well behaved on Switch. Gotcha. Y'all give me one moment. Sorry, I was getting after Steven for typing so loud. I hate his keyboard. Like, out of all the keyboards, he had to get the most clicky one. Oh, you've been here. Gotcha, gotcha. I don't think the next Star Path will be Valentine's Day themed because the expansion launches the day before Valentine's Day. I don't know what to expect for the next Star Path, but I do want something maybe Spring Core related, which I think would be nice. Okay, hopefully it stays good as long as Disney Dream My Valley doesn't crash. If it happens again, I know now not to end the stream. I just need to reload the um, the game. So if it goes black for a few seconds, just know I did not go. We need to get our wetsuit back on now too. So I was short by a few categories. So I know that technically when you go surfing, you're not supposed to wear shoes, but Dream Snaps is making me wear shoes. So we're just gonna have to pretend that she's wearing shoes and getting ready to go surfing. I don't know. We just got to make it work so I can make the requirements. Um, all right. Yeah, like literally I've been crashing on Disney Dream My Valley so much. It's awful. Okay, so I'm going to get this back just because it'll be a nice little filler. What should I do for a bag if it's going to like tell me that I'm not meeting the requirements? I need to come up with something. Okay, what about earrings? Let's see what earrings we got. Okay, so the earrings do count. I think I'm gonna go with the simple ones. What about bracelets? Can I wear bracelets with a wetsuit? Cause that'll let count towards the limit. Again, if you hear any uh, keyboard tapping, unfortunately, Steven thought it was a great idea to watch someone else's stream when I'm streaming. Yeah, I'm calling you out. <laughs> 
Okay, so I can wear, oh wait, no, I can't wear the bracelet. That's aggravating. Man, yeah, I'm gonna have to do a backpack. I didn't want to, but I am gonna have to do a backpack. No worries, Ducky. Thank you so much for coming in. I got an earring on. What kind of backpack would say surfer? Do y'all think? Like maybe just a regular bag? I didn't want to do a regular um, one, but it's neutral enough. This is neutral. The gloves, the athletic ones. Okay, let me see. Because if I can go without the backpack, I want to. The athletic ones. Okay, let me see. Which ones? Are you talking about the safety ones? What other gloves are there? Let me look. I don't really have a ton of glove options. I really want to remove that backpack though if I can. I would say the um, safety ones are my best bet. I could do the shoulder bag. Let me go back and look in a second. <laughs> Definitely the mittens. We're gonna wear mittens when we go surfing. Yay! I'm so excited, Jack. Go play, go play some Disney Dream My Valley. Then you can play some Paleo with us after because I'm gonna be loading Paleo when stream is over. We need to get ready for that update coming. I'm gonna be streaming the Paleo update too, y'all. So um, expect that to be coming up. This, I guess, kind of works. <sighs> I don't like those. I don't like those at all. Okay, let's just do a ring, a very neutral one, and see if this lets me. I have finished my Frozen Heights and my Forgotten Lands, and we're gonna be finishing up the Forest of Valor. Not this stream, but next stream. Oops, hold on. What is? What am I missing that is sporty? I guarantee you it's the wetsuit. I think it's the wetsuit becoming the issue because I'm not able to wear a full on outfit. So I think that's my issue. Yeah, I, I know, I wish we could do stuff together. Man, I'm bummed out because then I'm gonna have to rethink my entire outfit. Let me see if I can do sporty and see if what would pull up as sporty or wait, was it sporty the category? Why is it not showing sporty for me? There it goes. Sunglasses. Would that work? What other sunglasses don't, ooh, the blue. Okay, that's one. Dreamlight band. Oh my gosh, it removed it. Are you kidding me? Okay, so that didn't work. We'll get my wetsuit back in a second. This ring is considered sporty. Maybe I'll get that on. Let me get my wetsuit back. Yeah, I want to do my surfing idea. Let me see. I don't think this is enough. Oops, let me see though. Playful and sporty, okay. We need one more. I think I could get this to work if I do a necklace. Let me get the necklace, because if I could also remove the bag, I want to. Hold on real quick. Let's see. I think, is it still under the sporty category? Let me go underneath just to be safe. Hold on. Oh, I have done so much with Eternity Isle. Um, I've documented like everything on streams and videos. So everything that I've done on the channel, that's what we've done so far. If I have time today, I will do a walkthrough of what we've been doing, but I need to get started on that dream snaps and my storage room today so we can be able to get those done. Just because if I'm crashing like this too, hopefully we don't crash again, but Disney Dream My Valley has been very unreliable lately. I need one more, one more thing. This, I mean, I don't like it, but it, if I do something from the back, Maybe we can just hide it. Let me see if this works. But you see like the headphones doesn't match the surfing look. Okay, so I have more playful than I need. So I wonder if I can remove my backpack. Let me see. Oh my gosh, my controller's like drifting. So bear with me. 
Let me see if this works. Because if it does, cool. Okay, what can I remove that is playful? The necklace? Is the necklace okay? What, what, what am I wearing right now that's under playful? <laughs> totally tubular, dude. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, the Riffin Time uh, is so worth it. I don't know if my shoes are in the categories because if they're not, we can remove them. We have no idea when the new update is, but I'm hoping it's soon. All right, let me see what we got. Um, I don't think my shoes are considered, but we can double check that. I know the DLC is amazing and you're gonna get a lot of great items. I don't need any more playful. We just need to remove. Okay, so I wonder if my necklace is playful. I know my glasses are sporty. How much do I have for sporty? Cause if I kind of want to remove the glasses, I'm not even going to lie. Like I'm not really feeling them. Oh, I need to keep those. Okay. Unless my glasses are something else. I don't know. Is my necklace something that I can remove? Cause I think I'm going to remove the necklace. Let me do that real quick. Why is my controller drifting so much? All right, let's see if we can remove this. I think I can get away with it, because if I can, like you don't go surfing with jewelry, I'm just saying. Oh, I need the necklace. That's a bummer. Okay, so let me go get that real quick. I keep pressing the wrong buttons, bear with me. That's lame. I was really hoping that I could go without it. Let me go and type in playful or sporty again it's not like my favorite in the entire world like the outfit but it's at least i got the backpack removed so that's kind of a big deal for me does the fitness watch work with this or no or will it remove my outfit oh wait oh my gosh it removes the outfit that's lame because like I wanted to keep the Lilo and Stitch hat because we're doing like a Lilo and Stitch theme, but I think I, it would look better without the hat. I don't know. Like, I feel like it would look much better without it. Make yourself look like an adult Lilo. What does she wear for a head? Isn't it just, isn't it just like a flower? Um, Hair down. She wears her hair down in the movie. So we can do, we could do that. Maybe. <laughs> Brick. I didn't know that she, she wears her head for a head. Okay, well that's cute. Like, I kind of like that. What kind of head, head pieces do I have? Hold on, waffles, what you barking at? Um, let's see what hats. Okay, so do we want the Lilo and Stitch hat? What do we want for a hat? Because we're doing surfing Lilo and Stitch vibes. So do we want the Lilo and Stitch? Yeah, she. I don't think we have a flower that we can put in our hair, which is a bummer. Okay, so it's either Lilo and Stitch hat or no hat at all. So what are we thinking? But yeah, we don't have anything else. We're kind of limited. So it's y'all's call. Do you want this? I don't know if we have, I don't know if I have a red swimsuit. I mean, I don't have to be Lilo. I just kind of wanted to do that sort of vibe, but I don't think I have any other wetsuits, no. I have a futuristic suit, which does not look like surfing whatsoever. And I hate it like tremendously. So it'll have to, oh wait, we got the blue wetsuit. But yeah, I kind of like the black one better. Yeah, I kind of want to do without the hat. I think this is cute. Yeah, we're gonna do this. And then let me get rid of my critter. Oops, I'm always pressing the wrong buttons because I don't want the critter, unless I do like a sea turtle. Maybe the, for the sea turtle, 
I'll do. I don't know if I want to pose with a sea turtle, though. I'll get it just in case, but I'll do the neutral one. I don't know. I kind of don't like the hat. I think it's too much. So I'm going to go without it. All right. So as for the location, I did consider doing this build like over here. Or I could do the house in this spot with the beach house in the background. Kind of want to do the beach house, though. Yeah, I feel like black is neutral. Yeah, the hat, I just don't like it. I mean, I think it's a cute, like, item. But when you put, I don't know, when you put it on, it looks silly. I don't know. I just don't like it. So, I, I don't know. I think it'll be a, a cute dream snap with or without it. I think I'm going to move Stitch over here because, like, that is going to annoy me with Skull Rock. So we could do it with his house. And then maybe I can do a beach house in the background. I don't know. Let me see what our options are. But I know I want to use definitely this because of the surfboards. You see what I mean? I kind of honestly might remove Stitch's house for this. Because there's the surfboards over there. So I think I'm going to remove that. Uh-oh, what are you doing, Poo-Poo? Hold on real quick, y'all. Give me one second. Sorry, y'all. My puppy was getting lonesome. The stream is low quality. You can adjust the quality on it. Like, there's a little option... Let me see. It should be at 1080. But there is a way to auto adjust the quality of the stream in the little thumbnail thingy. Yeah, it's at 1080 on me. So you'll have to go into YouTube settings. And there's like this little, um, where is it? I'm looking on my computer. Where is It's like a little gear. You click that and you can auto click it to 1080. But everything says it's 1080 on my end. So... We should be good to go. All right. Now we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah. Just try refreshing. It probably would happen when we crashed, but it should be good. Just reset it and auto adjust it because I've had to do that on other streamers channels before, but we're good to go. I think I'll do the house right there. I do like we can see the surf. Oh, what just happened? I do like we can see the surfboards. Maybe I'll do it this way and I could take my photo at an angle. What do y'all think? I think that, yeah, I have to auto adjust my resolution when I watch streams lately on YouTube. I don't know why, but it's been an issue. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for all the likes today. All right, let's do, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get the Lilo and Stitch command. All right, let's do these. I think right here. OK, let's try. I know it's not a decorating dream snap, but I still want to do some effort. You know, maybe we can also do the lifeguard. I think I'll take the photo this way. Then you can see both of them. So we'll do the little chair over here and maybe like a pathway i swear if we end up doing this the whole entire stream and not get, not be productive uh on my room i will be so bummed should i do the lilo and stitch car like parked in front what do you think yeah you will have to manually adjust it sometimes i know every dream snap at this rate is a decorating dream snap we're just we're extra we're just very extra in that way my favorite biome, it's a really close tie between the Forgotten Lands and the Forest of Valor. I just love them tremendously. However, when we start getting the decorating done for, um, for my Peaceful Meadow City, that could also change. Okay, you know what I mean. The Lilo and Stitch car spaceship, same thing. Come on now. Calling me out like that. <laughs> It's a space car ship thingy. I know it's a spaceship, but it's a car to me, okay? All right, let's do um, one of each. Oops. 
I think I'm just gonna keep it really beachy and simple. I think that's my plan. Um, I actually updated my PNG and my artwork for New Year's, so no. <laughs> I kept the changes really simple, but I know I updated to the pink headphones and a new PNG. Made a little bit of a change. I want to do like a full on giant rebrand of everything in the future, but I just went very minimalistic with it. Ooh, yes, the Frosted Heights is so good too. Oh my gosh, Jet, you're so silly. That's tempting. Thank you, Mary, for the new light goal. Let me go ahead and repin it. And the coffee. Actually, you just reminded me that I need to take a drink of my coffee, so let me do that real quick. You just reminded me too, Amanda, that I need to remember to get all the critters because I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> no, okay, so I didn't really make it public that I was updating some channel art. I thought it would be silly to just not say anything and let people be like, something's different, but I don't know what. So I, I chose to be a hooligan and I didn't want to tell anybody that I did that. You're actually the first person who has actually pointed that out to. <laughs> like, wait a second, something is different. Something is different. You know what's gonna be funny? One of these days, I'm gonna do something similar. Whenever I put my webcam on, y'all are so used to seeing me with black hair. One of these days, I'm gonna come back with my webcam on and just have a completely different hair color. I'm just gonna do that too. Oh, what's wrong, Waffles? Come see. Sorry, she's wanting attention. You want hold in? So let me see if I can hold her without her like chewing on my hand. All right, so we are gonna try to do this with a small little puppy in my arms. Hopefully she'll cooperate and just go night night. But she was crying. <laughs> I have so much to still stream Alpha. I was supposed to stream the Pokemon DLC. Her little yip was so cute. Y'all heard that? <laughs> <laughs> she was just like over there like mom I just want loves <laughs> you should recreate your PNG I would love to rock my PNG outfit and headphones one day I just need to get blue hair should I get blue hair that's a lot of upkeep though and I'm too lazy for it but one of these days I will come back with my webcam on and just look like a completely different person I'm actually naturally blonde, so I very well could go back to having blonde hair. You just never know. One of these days, y'all are gonna come onto my channel and be like, who is this weirdo? This ain't Nora. I think I'm gonna pull this up a little bit. Could get a blue wig. I did consider actually getting some wigs at some point to try out different hair colors because I've had black hair for years and I'm just, I'm wanting to change. So that would be actually an option get some wigs to try out different hair colors. I had dark, dark blue hair. It was almost like black and it wasn't in, in like a lot of upkeep, but I'm worried if I go any lighter, that's what the issue is. Oh, but the green, yes, the green fading, that's what would be terrifying. <laughs> I would want to do something that is not like a lot of upkeep. You know what would be really cool though? If I did do blue, maybe I could get a block like underneath of my hair that's blue. So like my hair stays black, but then the blue is underneath. That could be an option. And if it fades to a nasty green color, I mean, it's not like my whole head. Hmm. That means several hair color options, just a new person every stream. It is an idea. It is definitely an idea. Oh yeah, y'all, that's what she wanted. She's asleep in my arms right now. Like she's trying to. Poor baby. It, it's like having a little human baby right now because she just wants to be cuddled. Let's do a palm tree, like right here. If she's going to sleep though, I can definitely stream longer today. So that's a, uh, that's a win. But I haven't had like a new hairstyle in forever. One of these days I'm gonna do it. Oh, I don't like that. That's not a good color. Let's do, there it is, these ones. Yeah, I was tempted on growing my hair out and not having to like re-dye it. But being that my hair is naturally blonde, I don't know, I just, I started looking like a skunk. 
and my hair looked like I was balding. And because of how blonde my hair is, it just did not look good. So I decided against it. Like it didn't last very long. So maybe eventually I'll go back to blonde. I don't know. I just like dark hair. So I kind of want to like keep that. Should I do the palm tree like right here? And maybe another additional surfboard? Let's try that. And maybe the Moana items could have something good for the Dream Snap too. What other categories have beachy like items? This could be a nice one too. I actually had a balayage and before COVID happened and I was working on getting back to my natural hair color, but I went for something like, you know, a little bit darker. So when my roots would grow out, it would blend in and it looked really nice. But then when COVID happened, I couldn't finish the upkeep. So I re-dyed it uh, back to black, but I was almost there. <laughs> How do you unlock the elegant gazebo recipe? I think you just have to get a resource in the frozen heights, if I remember correctly. What other um, items can we use? Some seashells? Let me place that down. Do we have any other? The Coke cans could be kind of cute, like to put where you're sitting. I don't want too much clutter, but I want it to be decorated enough. Oh my gosh, y'all see that? That is awful. I am so sorry about that. Do you see what I mean about the glitching? Like I've had so many issues lately with it. I'm so sorry, y'all. That probably hurt your eyes tremendously. I am not gonna dye my hair like Billie Eilish. <laughs> no, thank you. Green does not look good on me. Green just looks awful. I've been there and I have tried it. No, no, no. I look so bad with green hair. But it is an idea with the layout with the blue. I don't know, though. I don't think I'm going to dye my roots. Chunky Pepsi? Why? Hmm. Okay. So I do like this so far. We don't want it to be too much going on. I want it to be decorated enough, though. Welcome in, Michelle. Thank you so much for being here. Maybe I can do like a little fencing in the background, like right there. And do, let's see. I know, I am so sorry about that. Like, I'm telling you, Disney Dream Life Valley has been extremely buggy for me lately. And if that isn't an example, then I don't know what is. But thank you, thank you for that brick. I felt so bad because I know that that was probably a lot. I think we're going to do the car about right there and then move this. I don't know what else to place because like I want it to be at this angle. You should add more lights around it. Definitely. I agree with that. So more lighting for sure. I don't want it to be too cluttered. I want it to look realistic, but it's like if you don't decorate it enough, it won't perform good. And that's like the the bummer about Dream Snaps now. Like you have to decorate it if you want a good rating. Let me go and get some more lanterns real quick. It's too bad we don't have like a surfboard that we can hold. I probably should pose my character next to a surfboard. Yeah, mine is glitching like that all the time when I'm decorating. And I feel so bad when it happens on streams because I know that's just a lot on your eyes. So I apologize again for that. Hopefully they fix that soon. All right, let me get some more of the lanterns. What do we want to do? Lighting. I think I even got some smaller ones. We could do six of those. Oops, three more. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do a rock path. I'm gonna keep it very simple, like rock pathing and beach grass. That's what we're gonna do for the pathing. I would love to get like turquoise hair, but I'm so old now and I, I feel like I would look like I'm trying to be 15. And everybody would be like, why is this old lady trying to look like she's a teenager again? So if I'm gonna do any funky colors, it has to be very minimal. So I don't look like I'm trying to be a child again. But if I was like 18 in my early 20s, heck yeah. 
I would do it. I would rep that colored hair. Oh, I think Disney Dream My Valley almost crashed. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I feel old, but no, I'm at that stage. I'm at that stage, I'm almost 30. So I'm at that stage now where if I was like repping Hello Kitty outfits, even though I love Hello Kitty in public with bright colored hair, people would look at you like, what is wrong with this person? Um, so I just can't get away with it now. Like my body has changed so much after having kids and it's just, yeah, I just can't pull it off anymore. I can't even pull off skinny jeans anymore because then I look like a can of biscuits that are like popping out. It's just not a good sight. You don't want to see this. <laughs> I, I rock yoga pants and the mom hair bun. <laughs> no, you see, like if you can pull it off and you're older, yeah, definitely do it. I just can't pull it off. I just would look, I would look silly. I just can't pull it off anymore. I used to be into the scene, like emo look at, in high school. And I pulled, I pulled that off nice. But if I tried to go back to that style, literally it just wouldn't be a good look. Now, if I, if I magically drop like, you know, 50 pounds, 60 pounds, and I look great again, and I can rock the skinny jeans without looking like a can of biscuits. Heck yeah, I will, I will do it. I will do it, you have my word. But for now, you don't wanna see that. You do not want to see that. Your eyes would burn. For, so we, we just rep the mom, the mom yoga pants look. That is my, my style. <laughs> Plus I don't have the energy and time to like go all out like this. I mean, anyone can definitely pull off Hello Kitty. I just can't pull it off right now. Maybe, maybe that'll change as I continue to lose weight. We'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh, Artsy. Hello, friend. We, I don't know, we started and then we crashed. So I don't know how long I've been streaming for, but welcome in. We are talking about colored hair and how if I tried to look like I did in high school, it would look silly. But apparently I'm wrong. People are saying I would look fine. So maybe, maybe I just haven't dressed up enough. Maybe the inner mom in me has took over and I would still rep it good. I don't know. One of these days, one of these days, maybe I'll try out my, my scene emo look that I had in high school. That would be wild, honestly. That was a time to be alive though. The 2000s fashion was the best fashion ever. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not. I'm just saying, that was a time. If you were in high school, you know what I'm talking about. Also, what were those pants called? They were like super wide legs. Steven, I'm having a brain fart. Those wide leg pants that all the guys wore in high school. You know what I'm talking about? The, the wide leg giant pants, the big flare pants. You know what I'm talking about, right? I, that was like in like Middle school. Jeans. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. What are they called? Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. Thank you. <laughs> Those are trying to come back too. Those are coming back. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't the 2000s, but I saw people still wearing them in the 2000s, like celebrities would. <laughs> yes, they are trying to bring those back. But I'm just saying it was a time to be alive having the Hello Kitty emo face. Also, why is it in every selfie? Because you know exactly what I'm talking about. We would like put our hands on our knees and put like a mustache on our finger when we took a selfie. <laughs> oh my gosh. I went through some of my old photos of me in high school and I just cringed majorly. I was like, why did I take a picture like this? Why did I think this was cute? I don't know. It's like an experience. That, that was just a time where we didn't care. I, I want to go back to that mindset one day. Like right now, because I'm a parent, I feel like my life just kind of stopped, you know? And that's, I don't mean that in like a negative bad way. It's just, it went from focusing on me to focusing on my kid, which is like, you know, a good thing to do. It's what you should do as a parent. But I haven't had an opportunity to just dress up, you know? Maybe when I start losing the rest of the weight that I want to drop after, you know, having a baby, my body's just kind of changed a lot. If I drop enough weight and it looks good, 
Heck yeah, I will rep the old style because I like the emo style. That was like my, that was my, my, you know, my look. It would be crazy to see that though. I haven't seen myself in that kind of style in forever. <laughs> the early 2010s was a fever dream. It really was. <laughs> it really, really was. We had some questionable outfits. I'm just saying, but you, you can't, you can't blame us. We just, we were vibing. We were just having a fun. <laughs> It was a definitely you had to be there phase. It really was. I had black hair and the choppy haircut. And I had y'all know what I'm talking about. The uh, tiger stripe hair dye. It's like you would have a bleach like stripe look in your bangs. I had that in my hair and I would change it in colors. I also went through a red and black hair phase and I would have extensions also in my hair that I didn't know how to blend correctly. They just looked awful, but I was like, heck yeah, this looks good. Also miracle mousse. I think that's what it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That found that foundation that was too dark for our skin, but we wore it because we thought we looked good. Yeah, I would wear that and I'm a very pale person. Okay. So it looked like I just bathed in Cheeto dust, but I, I, I thought that was acceptable. I literally went in public looking like I just rolled my face in Cheeto dust or peanut butter. And I was like, heck yeah, this is good. This is good looking. I went in public like that. <laughs> so if I ever rock this outfit again, um, I will not be having Cheeto colored foundation that's where I draw the line. <laughs> oh my gosh. We all wanted to look like Haley Williams. Yes, we did. The black cat eye, I still wear a black cat eye. I have not grown out of that. I still do my makeup that way. <laughs> Man, yes. Oh my gosh. What was that straightener that we had too? Remember, I don't know how many of you did this, but there was like this straightener that you would use on your wet hair and it would dry your hair for you. It was so damaging, but we did it. There was also that, um, it was like a, a little hairspray bottle that was like a self tanner. We used that too. Oh my gosh. The concealer, <laughs> the concealer lipstick, the concealer lipstick. Oh my gosh. I'm guilty. I am guilty of it. If you didn't do the concealer lipstick, you were not a cool kid. <laughs> Oh man, one of these days I need to do a parody for like a big milestone and stream in like the ultimate 2000s outfit. We need to do it one of these days. <laughs> oh my gosh, that, that I forgot about, the concealer lipstick. <laughs> yeah, wet to straight, yep. It was so bad for your hair, but we did it. Dream matte mousse, that's it, yes but it was orange it doesn't matter what color it would say it was an orange color and we just we thought it looked good okay so basically the concealer lipstick was you would wear concealer as lipstick that's all it was we would take the lipstick or the concealer and just place it on our lips and that was it that's what we did don't ask me why because i really don't have an answer but yes <laughs> Just teared, about, uh, te teared down every bit of your valley. I like a good spiral. Literally, that's all we did. <laughs> yes, like the stream, if you did these things in the early 2000s, if you were a cool kid, because <laughs> apparently we've all done it. You know what also I saw on Facebook the other day and it just made me go down memory lane. I had this room, but it was in bright purple. I don't know if y'all went through it, but I went through a zebra stripe loving phase. My entire room was Hello Kitty and zebra stripes. And there was a room that was posted. The walls were hot pink and it had zebra stripe like bedding and decor everywhere. Looked like something out of the Mean Girls movie. Just add zebra stripes to it. Uh, I had that room, but in purple. And I was just like, oh my gosh, that was like such a time. We didn't care about what things were. We were just having a good time that that room was definitely questionable though <laughs> you were 19 and 2000 did you go through this phase your daughter is in that phase now honestly if they if that style comes back i'm all for it 
I am all for it. <laughs> the neon zebra stripes. Heck yeah. I see. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the fact that my mom and dad allowed me to do that with my room. Like my room was like a mixture of Hello Kitty meets Victoria's Secret with zebra stripes. That was my room. I didn't have pink carpet. I did have a rug, but that was it. I felt bad for my parents. Like that's what they did. Also, did any of you use the cotton candy smelling perfume? Because I also lived and bathed in that. And if I, I smelt that the other day, because my daughter was picking out her very first perfume and I smelt that the other day and it made me want to vomit. It smells like cheap vodka. It was so gross. It was absolutely disgusting. And I, I literally would shower in that stuff thinking that I was smelling like, you know, the best thing in the world. I just feel so sorry for people who would walk by me. <laughs> the pink walls. Yes. Was that from Bath and Body Works? Where was that from? I know they had it at Walmart. You still have that body spray? <laughs> no. There was also a Victoria's Secret perfume that I would get. It was like a big rectangle square bottle. I forget which which one it was. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. That actually didn't smell bad. That smelled really good. I also took a shower in that as well. <laughs> Man, y'all are putting me through memory lane. That's what y'all are doing. <laughs> yes. Why did we do that? Why did we put people through those those smells I worry about us <laughs> basically Elizabeth basically I think it was a stripe lid I could be wrong on this but I'm pretty sure it was it was so long ago I just remember buying it and I know my mom and dad probably thought that it was the most disgusting smelling thing ever but they bought it because they love me but I, I know that that was something that I literally would take a shower in. And I just thought it was the best smelling thing ever. What kind of smells do you like nowadays? Well, I really love to use, um, oh, what's it called? It's like from Philosophy. I think it's what it's from. It's the Amazing Grace perfume. I really love using that. That's one of my favorite smells. And then Steven got me, Steven, was it a coach perfume? that you got me I like wearing coach perfume so that's kind of like the only th I, I wear big kids smells now that don't make you want to vomit and smell like you just went into a party or that you vomited on yourself basically so that's that's what I like to wear <laughs> yes that's what I wear that's my favorite perfume ever you didn't have any trendy perfumes so like I didn't even know that that perfume we used to wear was technically considered trendy. But now I just, that's what I wear nowadays. I have not, I really don't go to Bath and Body Works anymore because it gives me a headache every single time I go into it. It's like all the smells hit your face at once and it just like kills my head. So I haven't gone in a hot minute, but my, my um, grandmother got me this Bath and Body Works uh, perfume or no hand wash or something. It's like a winter thing and the scent's really nice. So maybe, maybe I'll go there for certain things, but I just haven't gone in years. After I found the philosophy stuff, I just haven't gone. It just changed it. Yes, we like to smell clean. You know, when you get vomited on as a parent for so many years, what you strive for is just to not smell like baby vomit and diapers. So maybe that's why I like those perfumes now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's winter candy apple. I, I think that's what it is. It was, it, it's like this Christmassy hand soap. It's in my kitchen and it's like in a dark blue bottle. Whatever smell it is, it smells great. That That's a good scent. Yeah, it's like an instant headache, like right when you go into uh, Bath and Body Works. Love spell. Yes, that was also one of my favorites. That was a good one. Does this look decorated enough for dream snaps or should I add a couple of flowers? Maybe I'll go get a couple of flowers and add another palm tree. I could use maybe this. Yeah, honestly, just smelling clean, that is my priority now. Like, I just don't want to smell that like my kid vomited on me. That's the, that's the goal. 
to not smell like Fritos. I think it's enough too. I might add a couple of flowers, but I feel like that's simple and nice. It's a shame that we can't do like a surfboard at the edge. I don't know, let's see how it looks. I do like flowers though, so I'm torn about it. What I could probably do, I don't know, we need to see. Thank you so much for all the likes. After we get the dream snap done, we're gonna do our pirate themed gem room. I think, honestly, this is good enough. And if it performs like poo, whatever. I put the effort in. I at least wanna get 900 moonstones. That's what I want. Maybe I'll do, let me see. I might like rotate this like that. I think that's nice and do one more tree cluster like right there. I think that's good enough. Let me do one more tree cluster and we should be good. <laughs> I'll start sneezing up a store if I go anywhere near Bath and Body Works. Honestly though, it's true. It's just so potent. It really is. Maybe I could also do let me push this back a smidge. I think that's good enough. I think it's decorated and cute. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Genki Colleen, thank you so much for liking and lurking. Okay, so should we do golden hour? It's a shame that my son isn't this way. That is a bummer. All right, we need to get by our surfboards. Maybe something kind of like this. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that is a terrifying smile. And that is a terrifying face too. We also need to get Stitch posing. Maybe, maybe I'll do Let's see. We do, we put the effort. Maybe I'll do the surfboards. Oh, there, and we can also see Stitch. If I could try to get it, I'm really bummed out. I could have done it this way. Oh man, but I like the sun. I can change the time of day. I can change it, let's go earlier in the day. If I can get a good angle of stitch. Let me see if I can do my character this way. I don't know, It's it feels like it's not enough. You know, like I was trying to go simple with it, but I feel like it needs something more. I don't know. I kind of want to relocate it. Will y'all hate me for that if I move it this way? <laughs> I kind of want to relocate it. Because like, I like the sun. I don't know, what do y'all think? Or is it good and I'm just being a hooligan? Let me relocate this and try to like fill in the background a little bit more. Maybe if I did that. I would like it more. I mean, I know it's an outfit challenge, so I don't need to go like too crazy with it. I just want to get a decent amount of moonstones. But I kind of like the sun back here. I didn't realize the sun was going to look that gorgeous. Do we have a sand castle? I don't know if we have one. Nightbot is definitely hyper. Yes, he is. Hold on. Let me take a drink of my coffee real quick. I'm just saying the sun. I'm gonna do it, I am gonna do it. It's worth it to me. The sun behind the house, look how gorgeous. You can't tell me that's not gonna be a gorgeous looking photo. It's gonna be worth it. It's not that much to adjust. Yeah, it's just so perfect. Like if I could do 
what the heck just happened? If we have to have a longer stream today because of me being like this, it's worth it to me. Look, if I take my photo at this angle, like about right here, do you see what I mean? Isn't that just a gorgeous angle? It's worth it. It's so worth it. Let me push over here. Yeah, I just like it. We can adjust the time as needed. So we should be good. I'm going to make some adjustments. It's worth it to me to uh, adjust all this. Yeah, that is just... Honestly, the sun is so beautiful in this game. And I want to highlight that. It would really make that photo. We can keep the cute little, like, you know, tree clusters, but it's worth it to me. You can definitely see the face and you don't have to technically show your face in a dream snap because I've done it for outfit challenges, especially when I've done a cute um, angle. You don't have to show your face on a dream snap. You still can perform good without it. Hold on one second, Steven. One second, friends. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. Steven's watching something and every single time when I'm streaming, he thinks he needs to watch something funny. So if you hear him laughing, I'm, I apologize. <laughs> we do. We need some like volleyball uh, items as well. Y'all, can do you want a free husband? Can y'all like just take him for me? He's so distractive. Literally, he picks like the worst time to watch things. Like he knows I'm streaming. This dude. Okay, let's do, I'm gonna do, put my tree. I don't know, let me adjust this real quick. I have to like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I hate that it does that. I'm gonna do, I think, like move this over this way. Mm, don't encourage him, don't encourage him. Y'all are so bad. Always encouraging him to be crazy. And then we can do our surfboards like right here. And then I'll do also a tree. And this can just be a cute little piece of decor, like right there. I just think the sun really just made the build. <laughs> you have one of your own. Literally, he's so obnoxious. Like, I love him tremendously. But dude picks the worst time to watch certain things. This is also why I stream late at night. So then I don't have to deal with him. All right, let me do some beach grass right there. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on the raging video games. Yeah, mine does the same thing. I'm like, why are you playing it if it's making you so mad? He's like, because I like the game. I'm like, that doesn't sound like you liking it if it's making you that mad. Guys just confuse me. They make no sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? You know what? I try to ask him for help on builds too. And he just, he goes, yeah, it looks good. I'm like, that's not what I'm asking. Like, how does this placement look? He's like, I don't know anything about designing. I'm like, you're useless. You're supposed to give me the tips and advice that I need. You know, I kind of don't, I don't think I need to use that little spot right there <laughs> you already have no one wants to claim him darn looks like i'm stuck with him i'm actually quite surprised he hasn't chewed us out and made a comment about us roasting him i'll say y'all don't want me but y'all don't know i got a really big personality stop it steven um all right let's see i'm gonna put this over here he drives me mad all right and then we're gonna do Let's see, surfboards over here. I get upset with both of them, Brick. Honestly, I wouldn't consider myself a rage quitter, but then when you add Disney Dream My Valley, removing my decor every three seconds, it's gonna make me rage quit. It will for sure. Maybe I'll do the pose like right there. All right, let's see. I know he's annoying. Ignore him. Y'all give me one moment. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. Mm. 
Y'all stop encouraging him. I call. I told him to stop being nasty. What was nasty about what I said? <laughs> Y'all got some dirty ass minds. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> oh my gosh. I do love Disney Dream My Valley. It just makes me mad when it crashes every five seconds. You can, you can like love and hate a game. <laughs> All hus husbands do drive us mad, yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, see, why can't I have a husband that helps me decorate? Why can't I have that? Instead, I have a, a child, basically. He's so immature. Sorry, it was me sipping and also chewing him out. Calling me out there, Kyle. I know, he's obnoxious. Y'all, see, this is why we just pretend he's not in the room and ignore him because he feeds off of us. Y'all are encouraging him. He, he feeds off of the attention. Oh my gosh, thank you. I am streaming earlier because of the new puppy. So I guess it works out. <laughs> Okay, so let's do... I might actually swap the fencing to something like this. Like, we'll do... I think that. Like, frame this in a little bit, like a little yard. Look, my biggest issue with Disney Dream My Valley right now is the fact that it just removes everything I do every three seconds. That's my issue. <laughs> I tried to get Steven to help me with scramble coin and he refuses to help me as well. So do you see how he treats me? Do you Yeah, <laughs> I got you, Steven. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad you're able to uh make this stream. Thank you for being here. Okay, hold on. I think I might keep this still. I don't know. Like, place it right there. <laughs> I, don't, I need a Brick B Gaming decorating stream. We need that to happen. We gotta make that happen. Let me try to do, like I'll pose her this way. Also, what the heck was that head movement that she did? I mean, I like it. I just think I need to add, like move over the lifeguard thing. Just a smidge. I think that's what I'll do. Like move this over and get some more lanterns. Oh, speaking of lanterns, I didn't even like move those over. So like put this right here and then let's see. Let me fix this, hold on. I do like this much more with that sun in the background. Okay, and then we'll do a tree. Dude, your avatar is double caked up. Steven, control yourself. Y'all, I am literally about to slap this dude. All right, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll do from this angle. Maybe one more palm tree in the background. Like you won't be able to really see it, but I think having a palm tree, like a large curved dean. Wait, what the heck? Why does it keep doing that? Y'all see what I'm going through with this? The glitch today? I'm not even gonna acknowledge him at this rate. I'm just gonna ignore him. That's well, what this means I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Stop. All right, uh, putting this over here. Y'all, give me a second. I'm gonna take a drink of my coffee. Okay, let's try. Ooh, I like that palm tree. Okay, so we're gonna do that picture. No worries. Oh, wait, you're not leaving. <laughs> Enjoy the gaming night, though, and happy anniversary. I hope it's a really special night. I love that palm tree. Okay, let me try to make an, a little bit of adjustment. 
the boats in my Oasis build, that was from the Star Path. Um, the Halloween one, if I remember correctly. So sadly, no longer available. Hold on one second. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to stand like right here, I think. But I need to get Stitch like closer. Let me push him up. He needs to face forward too. There we go. Like, I'll stand. What do y'all think? Like, right here? Let's see. I don't like that angle. Because it's not behind the house. So I think I'll do right here, maybe. And then I'll take the photo this way. I like that sort of, I think I need to get closer and do a minor adjustment to this. <laughs> I know I'm pushing them all around. <laughs> no worries, Mary. We'll probably go for three hours today so I can get started on at least my gem room. So I haven't even gotten started on that. Okay, I I think that's cute. If we could just get him a little bit closer. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spiral. I am not spiraling. I like it. Okay, so I, I like the angle. How did the filters look? Let me try it from this way, maybe. What do y'all think of that angle? I think that's cute. Okay, she looks confused. We need a good, that is not the face. We'll do that, I guess. No, I don't like that filter. Don't like that one. Should I do this filter or should I do a different one or no filter? I kind of, I kind of want to go without the filter. I didn't buy the premium shop wetsuits because I don't really use them. So that's why I didn't. Okay. So I like this angle, but I'm trying to decide, should I do a smaller? I always do the wide camera option. Should I just do this? What about that? I know it's not like a full on like camera shot. What do you think would perform better? Should I do this photo or should I do the full camera? Because I think that this is really cute. Yeah, I agree. No filter would be nice. I mean, it's not like a decorating challenge. <laughs> oh my gosh, half an hour to two hours. We're gonna do three so I can actually start. Okay, you're calling me out. You are calling me out. I agree, I do think that the um, the wider shots do a little bit better. So with all that being said, let me add in a couple of more details. Brick chose to call me out today. Brick is not playing. What did I ever do to you, Brick? Calling me out like that? Y'all give me one second, I have a cough coming. All right, sorry. The uh, My allergies are constantly acting up these last two weeks. We went from like really cold weather, which is not normal for us, to humid. And so like my body's just like, what is going on? So I apologize for that. I'm gonna put these back over here and then do like a little picnic table. Let me try that, hold on. I think it's under Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I did, I totally did not see you in my chat and you're just like, how rude. I'm apparently very mean to my mods. 
apparently. All right, I'm gonna do the Lilo and Stitch table. I keep trying to click it, but I have waffles in my hand. And she keeps like chewing on my fingers and I'm pressing the wrong thing. I might have to put her down. There she goes again, hold on. All right, I'm gonna go and look for that, hold on. I think it's under the green or the red, if I remember. I know I saw it. I'm just gonna go, hold on, into the category. Oh my gosh, I keep pressing the wrong thing, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna do the picnic table and then we're gonna do probably a coconut juice, I would say on it. Would that be enough? Cause this at least would fill up the space a little bit. I just, I don't know, it, it feels empty. I also might move the ship a little bit. Y'all give me a second, I'm gonna put waffles down. She's going crazy, hold on. Now I feel like I'm the worst pet owner ever cause she's looking at me cause I placed her down like I don't love her. <laughs> Scraggly bushes. Like the Forgotten Lands one, is that is that which ones you're talking about? I could also do maybe the car right there. Which bushes, like which exactly are y'all thinking? I know I placed a coconut juice down, I just don't see it. Okay, let me just, I know it's under Moana, so I'm gonna go get that real quick. <laughs> I abuse y'all. No, I promise y'all don't believe them. I am so nice to my mod team. Okay. Like I occasionally will accidentally block them sometimes on streams. Occasionally. I'm not that mean. Only sometimes. Ooh, I'm actually going to place a couple of these down. We can try them. I just don't want it to take away from the build. I might also place a couple of these down just for like some extra illumination. I think that could be cute. And maybe do one right there. It's like nothing crazy, but I think it would be a cute little, you know, piece of detail. Let me try that. Give me one second, friends. Another cough is coming. Sorry about that. Um, place another surfboard set, but turn it backwards. Where, where at exactly are you thinking? Also, I know I have a coconut juice. Where is it? Like I just had one. Did I place it somewhere? I th I thought it was under Moana. Is it under Lilo and Stitch? Maybe it's under Lilo and Stitch. Hmm. Okay. So where are you thinking this this way? Like where are you suggesting this rotation? I could do this one rotated, is that what you were implying? Oh, wait a second, I kind of like that. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna push him up just a little bit. Maybe this way. And I actually am not a fan of that. I don't know why, I just don't really like it. The back of the boards facing the sun. This way? I kinda like it. Don't hate me, but I'm really not a fan. I don't know what it is. I just don't really like this. Maybe this way would change it. Okay, where is the sun? We need to take the dream snap and now the clouds are covering it. I think I need to be right here. The front board's facing the sun. 
I wish I understood fully which way you're implying. Are you saying that you like them being vertical? Like this way? Because I just didn't like that. I don't know why, but I just wasn't a fan. However, if I can get a decent angle, maybe on the island in the background down here, that might be difficult to get in one photo. We can definitely try it though in a second. Hold on. I'm kind of wanting to move this right there. And then let's see if we can get Stitch. Let's try this way. If I can get him to place where I want him, that'd be great. Okay. Let me see if I can get this. That's a cute angle. If I could do that, that would be nice. What do we think about this type of angle? I just need to make my character like smile. Do we like this angle? And I actually kind of like the cloud placement. I think I like this. But I am going to remove my companion because like that's driving me insane. He's got to go. Yeah, I'm really liking the the sun there. Let me remove this. I need to get some decor on my table. And also I'm going to place this right there just for like a little extra something. Like there we go. And do that right there. And I'll move also this a smidge. Don't mind me, I am a perfectionist, okay? So <laughs> I gotta adjust this a bajillion times before I'm happy. You're gonna learn very quickly if you're new to my channel how incredibly stubborn I am. No worries, Michelle, get some sleep. Thank you for being here. Okay, let's try. Why is he now not moving? Okay, there we go. Trying to get him to place where I want him to be. Come on, come on. I do like the sun. I'm glad we did this. It just looks way better. Okay, so take our photo this way. Let's get him to move. There we go. If he can stay right there and I'll take my photo this way. Okay, I like that. Right there. That's a good angle. And then we'll do this. I like that. What do we think? I think that's a cute dream snap. I'm happy with it. And I like that he's like, like acknowledging me. I was originally wanting to do some uh, decor on the table, but we still need to do our gem room. So I feel like this is a good photo. I think we're going to do this one. Let me take a drink of my coffee and I think I'm good to go. I don't want to like overthink it, but I think this captures surfing and Lilo and Stitch pretty well. But yeah, let me drink this coffee and I'll go ahead and post it. Yes, I may have sat here for like two hours trying to get this but I am happy with it. Let me submit it. I think it's cute and I think it's a little bit different. And I like the sun in the background too. I just think it's a lot different than what other people are gonna do. So I like it. I think it's very original. Yeah, I like that. I think that's cute. I'm happy with it. Okay, so now that we got that done and over with, <laughs> two hours later, Oh my gosh, she was pointing her toes. That's funny. Let's go do our pirate room. We'll at least get it started. Whatever I don't finish today, we'll just finish it on the next stream. But I'm happy with it. Okay, so gem room time. We're gonna do pirate theme. So we need to probably do some crafting today. 
And I'm trying to think what kind of wallpaper do I want to use? So I know that I want to do, I don't know. I need like, there's like this rusted wall and I want it so bad, but I don't think I have it because that would look really good. So we need something simple. That does not say pirate at all. Hey, Brick, ask Jet, because Jet did a pirate theme. Ask Jet, like, what wallpaper she used that would look good with this. I need to remove also all of this. Get these removed, too. All right, we got that removed and then we're moving these. I was originally really excited to use these safes and then I noticed that they're only two rows and I'm planning to basically have a good stock of all of my resources and I was not a fan of that. So these, I wasted so much money too on this. So like these have to go. But I thought because they were so expensive, we would have room for more than one. I think it's gonna be Peter Pan related. That's what I'm thinking. I think it might be either a character home or maybe like a transition to another part of the valley. I could be wrong. Like what if it's like a private cove or something? That's what I'm trying to think. I honestly thought that that was gonna be the way to Eternity Isle, honestly. But now I'm stumped. So I don't know. What do y'all think it's going to be? My gut says, though, it's going to be something like that. Yeah, I just think that Peter Pan. It could be like a private cove or something like a, a round room that was like where a pirate ship is and something. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. It could very well be a transition to a different part of the valley we don't have unlocked, too. It could be, they could easily play it off that way. We'll just have to wait and see, but that's what I think. Okay, so I know I wanna use barrels and stuff. What category, Jet told me that we got a pirate chest and I don't know if that was from the star path or the premium um, shop. So I need to see what I have. I think this could be really cute. I'm going to just kind of grab things as I see them. Blackboard. Can you send me a picture on Discord Jet so I can see what it looks like? Because I need that kind of a reference to see what wallpaper. If you don't mind doing that for me and sending me a photo of what that looks like. Just so I can see if I own it. But I'm pretty sure I don't. Because then I'm going to have to really think this over. <laughs> like I'm not doing a pirate ship interior. I'm just kind of trying to do like a pirate storage room, if that makes any sense. Ooh, it could very well be like Daisy is trapped in there. That could be nice. We'll have to wait and see what they do, but that is definitely an option. I definitely think it's gonna be something related to Peter Pan. That's just what I'm thinking. It makes the most sense, but I don't know, like they're really obvious like with their characters and that's really obvious. I don't like that. We'll definitely come up with something. I wish I knew if I had this item or not. Honestly, that could be so cool though. Yeah, I agree with that. It could be really nice. Okay, so we're definitely gonna do this. Ooh, okay. This could be maybe like the centerpiece of the room. Right there. If I don't have a decent wallpaper, we need to pick out something to get us by. Let me see if I have anything underneath any of these categories. Alice in Wonderland, Pirates. Okay, so I got, I got this, but I don't see, and I got a little great which I wanted to use I kind of like that 
Sunny to DM. Okay, let me go ahead and check that real fast. And y'all give me one second. I'm gonna go get another cup of coffee real fast. Alrighty, I am back, got my coffee, and we are going to be productive. All right, so you said you sent it in DM? I don't know if I have it. Oh, Jet, that looks so good. I do not have that wallpaper. I wonder if, I'm going to try to see. I'm wondering if I can make use of this bamboo wall, like, instead. I feel like that's going to be my best option. What item by the way, is the pirate chest under like category? I said item, but what category? Does, does anybody know? I don't even think I have it. That's gonna be a bummer if I don't have it. But I think, ooh, Jed, that, um, that rug, that I'm definitely gonna use. I think this is gonna be my best like option. I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Yeah, I want to do two stacks of gems, I think, but I don't know. I mean, should I continue to use these? Do you think? It's it's up to y'all. What are you what are you doing, waffles? I'm doing good, Virginia. Thank you so much for being here. So maybe this kind of a combination. Oh, thank you, Zay. Thank you for coming into stream. It, it's not a storage chest, is it? It's like a treasure chest item. It has like a bunch of pirate themed items with it. That's what I'm trying to find, but I don't know if I have it. Thank you so much. By the way, Jet, I appreciate you. Jet's over here giving me the inspo that I need. But yeah, I don't have that wallpaper, so we're going to have to use this one. We're doing a pirate themed storage room. So that's what we're working on right now. What kind of window options do we got to check under gray? Okay, let me look. It's like, I can't explain it, but it has like a bunch of like gems and stuff. And I think it has like a steering wheel with it. I don't know if I have it. Oh, I'm so glad you got inspiration. Oh, okay, Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, let me go back, hold on, hold on. Let me see. I don't think I have it. That is a bummer. <laughs> oh man, I am devastated. I'm gonna have to make it work without it. Maybe I could do like a rustic-y table with loot on it. Maybe that's what I could do. I could have swore I bought it from the premium shop or got it from Starpath. I, I could have swore that I owned a giant treasure chest. If I don't have it, that is something I'm gonna need to Cross my fingers for uh, the return in the premium shop. 
I, I wonder if I didn't get it. I don't have it placed in my valley. My valley's completely flattened. Ooh, we can also use this. It's not pirates. Okay. So I'm just going to continue to look. You know what I'm going to do? If I didn't get it uh, in the star path or wherever it came from, then I probably just don't own it. Maybe it was a premium shop item. Let me just start from the very bottom. We're also going to get this right there. I'm just going to go up and kind of just see. I'm going to grab things as I also see them. But I don't think I own it. And that's going to make me so bummed out because the treasure chest, I think, would look so good. Yeah, I think it was um, the Halloween one. Oh, that's a little too, too big. Okay, I'll check it again. But I was thinking we could do a like a centerpiece, like a treasure chest centerpiece. And then I could have like a little study area or like a table with loot on it. That's what I was going to do if I have it. It's under other. Okay. Let me see. I'll also get all the gold colored stuff. Oh, this is the table that I wanted to use because I was thinking we could do like a table with a bunch of like food on it. You wanna know it's something that's super funny. My all time favorite game in like the entire world is Skyrim. So a lot of my inspiration for this is from like the, uh, the abandoned pirate ships that you get um, loot from. That's gonna be some of my inspo for this build. Ooh, haunted painting could be cute in this too. All right, so you said it's under other. So if I don't have this, then we can, we'll just come up with something to get me by. Am I not seeing this all? Is it this down here? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was like, where's the other tab? Okay, let's look and see. I could have swore I've gotten this. If I didn't, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> like I really wanted to do a build with it. So I will be bombed out. I can double check with Scrooge and see if I placed it somewhere, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. I don't think I completed that star path. I could be wrong though, but we will look. I'm just hoping that I do own it. And then I could also use that lamp. Yes, we submitted the dream snap. I'm pretty happy with it. We finally got it done. Now we're working and getting started on this uh, storage room. The ruined paintings. Did I pass it? Yeah, those would definitely be cute. Jet's like a ma already made a masterpiece out of this. I could I could do maybe like a sitting spot with it if I had to. I do. I have a lot of stuff, but watch me not have that one item that I need. Sorry if you hear any crinkly noises in the background. My dog's playing. Hmm. OK, so I'm not seeing it so far. I'm looking though. Oh, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I have it. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful. <laughs> That's what I wanted. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is what made me want to do this. Oh, I'm so excited. And I could also make use of this window, maybe. Oh, I'm so thankful. And I also got the stained glass window. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I'm so thankful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all, I was gonna be so incredibly bummed out. Oh, yay, okay. <laughs> it feels so much better. Oh man. Okay, so Jet, how did you do your drains? Because I love how you did um, the drain centerpiece. Literally, y'all, I'm taking so much inspiration for from Jet's build for this one today. So make sure you go check her out. Okay, you just did one drain. I think I'm gonna do two. Oh, and I also have a scroll, but I think I'm gonna need to go like order another from Scrooge. So I think I'm gonna have to go do that too. Eric's miniature boat, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so we're gonna have to really obviously make adjustments to this. Like I'm gonna have to clear all of this away. So we probably need to get that done in a second. So I want the 
pirate um, chest to be like the centerpiece. I think I blocked myself. Let me try to remove some of this stuff. Yeah, I need to see what scrolls we got. Okay, so I think what I'll do, because I like the idea of the drain being in the center of the room, I think I'm gonna do two, like two drains in the center. We'll see how it looks. Is this the right wood flooring that you mentioned? You said you used a wood flooring and it looked best for the pirate theme. So I think that's that's what I'm going to stick with is this one. Unless you have a better flooring. Yes, we need to do the globe too. I'm going to have to leave this room and kind of just put this stuff somewhere else. Yes, lots of jewelry. I kind of want to do also, if I have it, um, like a little study area. That could be the centerpiece. And then we could do a gold pile like in the background. Yeah, see, I wanted to do like a fancy, elegant um, storage room, but I, Jet literally has been ruining me on Disney Dream My Valley. First, it's the Forgotten Lands, and now it's the storage room. Jet has corrupted me. So I was like, I wanna do a pirate theme. So I blame Jet for this. Jet made me spiral. Cause I was gonna do something like a store and I was gonna make it all glamorous and just really nice looking. And then Jet has to go over here and inspire me like that. Do you see, you just know how rude that is. It's just so rude. Okay, this will be like my, we're gonna throw everything in here to get it out of the way storage bin. That way we can decorate and whatnot. All right, there we go. I, oh my gosh. So remind me friends, please remind me to do a eternity aisle like tour. Just know that stuff is gonna be spawned like all over it. But please remind me to do that before I end my stream. Okay, so I don't forget. <laughs> Hashtag blame Jet. Yeah, we're just gonna blame Jet for everything. <laughs> the spiral, the everything. Oh wait, I can't believe that Stitch is still here. I didn't even kick him away. Oops. Just go to Scrooge and search yellow. Gotcha, I'll do that. I have plenty of room to still order stuff. So I'll get that done. I think what we'll do is like some rustic-y brown tables. And that'll be like my gem storage. Yeah, I'm obsessed. This is gonna be so cute. Yeah, I think this was um, the star path, but the jewel piles is from the DLC. If I'm correct about this, right? We can craft this. I think, I believe I'm correct <laughs> that you get this from crafting, but please let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. Maybe I can do the gem pile like right there. Let's see. And then maybe one like in the back or is that is that blocking too much, do you think? Maybe I'll do one on like each corner or something. Oh my gosh, yes, I did it in the glittering dunes, correct. Okay, I know I have placed a couple of things. So Jet told me to go search in yellow. So I'm gonna go do that and I need to order um, Eric's miniature boat, I think. Cause I used that in my market. Yeah, I really like the treasure items, so I'm excited to do something with it. Oh my gosh, get back here. Yeah, okay, the Cave of Wonders, gotcha. Okay, order some items, furniture. What category is the scroll from? Do we know? Is it under yellow, maybe? Ooh, the memory wall. Um, Let's see, what else do we got in here? Lots of good stuff. I don't like any of this. I got one jewelry stand, so we're good on that. Got a mirror. Um, I'm pretty good on this. Ooh, these candles. I may get like two. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough money. <laughs> I need this. Oh my gosh, I need to go get more money for that miniature boat. 
Let me go sell some of my um, crops. <laughs> it's in yellow. Okay. Well, I need to now go sell some of my storage to afford this. I did plant some pumpkins, but I still need a lot. Okay, let me get rid of some things. Hold on. If this doesn't say how bad I need to resource grind, I don't know what does. Yeah, it's definitely, in my opinion, way bigger than the main valley. All right, let's go try to sell this. And let me also move these bars in there too. Look, okay, Harley, I told y'all, I warned you that I need to make money. It's bad. I need money. I need also dream light. And now apparently we are gonna need to do some serious farming because yeah, I'm too lazy to get more. Okay, thank you so much, Michelle. I appreciate it. I'm excited for this room. Y'all, I was gonna be so bummed out if we didn't have that treasure chest because that was the main centerpiece that I wanted. All right, let's go sell these. Oh shoot, I forgot to do that. I was gonna be all dressed up in a cute pirate outfit, but because I took so long on that dream snap, now I'm just like, whatever. We're just gonna live in our wetsuit. Yeah, the flower lamps are so good. Are you talking about like the vine ones? Those are my favorite. They're really nice. They're definitely great for so many themes. I will use those in my um, fairy build. All right, we're gonna sell like all of this. That way I can at least have enough to order things. And y'all can continue to make fun of how broke I am on this game. Cause it's definitely deserved. I need to do better. I need to like farm and actually resource grind for once. But it's just like, I'm too lazy. I'm gonna like sell all of my stash and then be like, why don't I have anything? It's gonna be a problem later, I just know it. Me too. Aren't we getting Monster Inc. characters? Because if so, maybe we could do like a Monsters Inc. apartment. Would y'all be down for that? Like to get all excited and ready for the update? I think that could be really fun. But I'm pretty sure we're getting Monsters Inc. next. Because if we are, heck yeah, we're doing a Monsters Inc. room. It'd be really nice to do like Sully in Mike's apartment. I could get down for that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Els, you're fired. Steven, can you do the Spider Man? You're fired. You're fired. For me, thank you. Els just showed up to the stream. How rude. <laughs> yeah, we need to do um, we need to do a Monsters Inc. apartment. I can, I think that could be so fun. All right, so I'm definitely getting that. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for it. There's the scrolls. Okay, I'm gonna get like two of those. Get one of those as well. Buy another of this. Um, maybe I might buy one more of these. Wow, that's actually a really good price. I wasn't expecting that to just be <laughs> J. Jameson. You're fired. That movie is so good and such a meme. I love it. Ooh, and then we can get this one. Are you kidding me? I can't order anymore. That's about, at least I got what I could. Yeah, I want to do a Monsters Inc. themed apartment. So I might do that next stream. Like we could do that or we could finish up the Forest of Valor. We could save the apartment closer to the update. It's up to you. Like what would y'all rather first, the forest or the apartment? Cause I think both would be fun. Yes, I need Alice in Wonderland characters like desperately. Alice, I hope you're doing good. Welcome in. We are gonna be doing a pirate themed gem room. So I'm just kind of like clearing all of my stuff real quick. As you can see, we really need to do some mining. Cause like, yeah, I don't really have much. I don't like the order limit. I hated it so much in Animal Crossing. So it's driving me insane. Yes, I literally have so many ideas for the Monsters Inc. apartment. And then Dream My Valley decor did the most beautiful, look at this. Let me see if I can pull it up. This is literally gonna be my inspiration for the um, apartment. 
Hold on. I think I can do it under image. Hold on real quick. Apartment. I saved the photo because I was like, this is just insane. I'm pretty sure I saved it on my computer because it's just so good. Let me look for it. Um, if I can't find it, I know it's, I know their Instagram, so I can at least like link it. Okay, here it is. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Tell me that this is not the best stinking design ever in Disney Dream My Valley. They have an Instagram. I recommend following them. They make some of the most gorgeous builds ever. But this is big brain energy. I would love to try to do a more rustic Monsters Inc. approach to this. So that's what I want to do for the apartment, like my own version of that with like Monster Inc. items. But isn't that like big brain energy? It's so good. So I want to do that really, really bad. Yeah, the five, the five limit is awful. So they used the, um, hold on, let me show you. Yeah, isn't that like the best thing you've ever seen? Ever since I've seen that, I'm just like, I need to do this. <laughs> I need this in my life. I think it's in her Toy Story. So what they did, Mary visited? Oh, really? Yeah, I want to do like, I know the brown bookshelves can connect together. So I think I want to do that. But what they did is they used the wandering cupboard and they blended them together like this, like a wall partition. And then they did um, like counters right there. And then they did a single, like two of them together. That's how they got the apartment look. So I want to do that, but with brown bookshelves for my Monsters, Inc. Um, apartment. It, yeah, I, I really want to see like wall partitions. Like imagine a brick one, like a brick partition could be so good. So I hope we get something like that in the future. But that just like blew my stinking mind. The smartest design I think I've ever seen. So I really want to do a Monsters, Inc. version. Yes, we need we need to be able to visit Eternity Isle. I agree. Okay, what window do we want? Do we want this beachy window or do you like this one more? Because I kind I like this. And I think it could be really cute. And I know that these are technically windows, but I was thinking that could be cute. <laughs> Brick, get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, Attorney Iowa, I really want people to visit. I think that could be nice. I could also do these windows, but I'm not like a fan, I guess, of it. But I do like that window. We also got the dorm window, which could be cute. Unless y'all think that the pirate ones are good enough and I can just do like a little centerpiece. Maybe I'll just do that. You know, I think I'm actually just gonna do like a centerpiece with the windows over here and then we can figure out a window on the side unless y'all have a good window suggestion for the sides let me know but i think that using these as like a centerpiece sort of deal and then doing like actual windows on the side would look better maybe that's what i'll do and then we can do the gold pile like off centered a little bit and I kind of want to remove this. I'm not really a fan, a fan, oh my gosh, a fan of that. And I could do like a little study or something. Like I might actually do like a little corner nook or something like that with like a chair. Hold on, let me relocate that. And then do the gold pile right there. Can I still walk around this? I don't know if we have any other doors. Yes, I really love the biome so much on the Oasis. You should look at Eric's windows on the crafting table. I don't know if I have that. I have even visited those in forever okay let me go look real quick you said it's it's like his crafting table so his house i have him in the plains i think 
I don't remember exactly. Let me go look. I'm probably missing so many recipes from him, so I can go look real quick. Don't mind my character just chilling in a wetsuit. Okay, let me go look and see. And his table is right here. Oh, apparently I need to get stuff still. Ship coffee table. Oops, why didn't it let me buy this? Mossy eye carving stone? Apparently, I need to remember to come buy this. Uh, my oasis is Moana's home, yes. It is, let's see. Yeah, Moana's over here, so before I go back. And I can craft this real quick. Man, I need to clean this all up. Wait, where am I at? Oh, there it is, it's all the way back here. Yeah, I need to, I guess, visit Eric more often. It's in the normal crafting table. Okay, I'll go double check that because I think this would be great for our storage room. Oh, yikes. Apparently, I need to clean up a bunch of stuff. Yikes, I haven't loaded up for a couple of days, if you can't tell. <laughs> yeah, this is bad. Let me clean all this up. But this is where I have her. Uh, my... Eternity Isle is just a complete mess right now. Like everything has spawned over here. So let me go do that. Uh, just know that some things are out of place, but this is my one of my recent videos. And the rain is kind of killing the vibe, but yeah, we moved Moana over here. I actually really want to do a different thing, like a different centerpiece over here. <laughs> I know all this stuff had to spawn. Y'all are over here like, how does this look? And I'm like, okay, let me go show you. And everything just is a disaster storm. I haven't had time to go over here and clean everything up yet. So it's a little bit of a mess. That's all I got to say. But yeah, we did this on one of my recent videos. I do want to have a centerpiece item over here. I kind of just did Maui's uh, statue for temporary, just to get by. I don't really know what I wanna place there yet, but um, yeah, I need to get some stuff still. But I, I wanted to make it functional so you can be able to access like all the mining nodes and whatnot. I don't know if I have Eric's windows. I'm gonna need to go look at the uh, crafting station and double check this. But yeah, so that's where I placed Moana. And then I also have, now just ignore the fact that things have spawned everywhere because apparently your girl here needs to do some major cleanup. But I got Eric's castle over here and I'm doing like a desert town sort of look. And then we have a little desert city and we did this on one of my recent streams. So I, I upgraded that video and then I'm gonna do more stalls up here. But as you can see, everything has spawned. <laughs> Yes, yeah, self-care is so important. Over here is Wally's abandoned conservatory. I did a build on this. Like I said, ignore the fact that everything has spawned. Like I need to clean up a lot. Then we have Pride Rock over here, which again, I need to clean this all up. As you can see, I have a lot of resource gathering to do. <laughs> I really need to do some major, major TLC over here. Then we have Casita, like right here. So once again, just ignore all the random spawns. This, I'm gonna do the Beauty and the Beast castle most likely over here. So that's coming up. Many of you were asking for a Beauty and the Beast build. So I am planning to do this. <laughs> v, thank you so much. And y'all are so sweet. Zay, I'm glad it helps. I'm glad it helps. That's what this, this channel's content is for. Then we have a little campsite over here and we did this on a stream as well. I know I need to get the vacuum. Like I'm so tired of everything spawning. For, for now, I think that's everything. I have a lot to still do over here. So we have plenty of content coming. But yeah, that's, that's all my um, attorney aisle so far. Like I said, I have done all of this on videos and streams. Like it has been documented completely. Yeah, I think you're right though. I need to get a vacuum. 
I just don't have everything crafted. So I, I don't want to get them and then not have enough mist to do stuff. Zay, no worries. Thank you so much for hanging out. And Alan, thank you tons. I appreciate it. Okay, so furniture. Oh, <gasps> cute. What do I need for this? Clay. It doesn't work in my um, interior anyways. All right, so the windows are craftable. So that's good to know. All right, I'm gonna get this. I don't know if I have the windows. I don't think I do. If I don't, um, what windows can get us by, do you think? It's a shame that this hourglass is so big. Like, I really wish it wasn't, because I really love that. Okay, so I do have some crate clusters we could add. We could definitely put those inside our storage room. And I also have these tall, skinny ones. I might make one of those too. I don't know if I have it. I don't think I've unlocked his window. I honestly forgot that we get recipes from him. So I might be out of this window situation. Let me look, but I'm pretty sure I don't have it. I am not seeing it, but I wonder if these wall shelves could be cute. What, what does the wall shelves need? I could probably display like gems on these. I need bamboo. Dang it. I don't have enough for that. I don't think I own the window. Nope. That's a bummer. Okay, so apparently I need to stop forgetting that Eric exists. That's what I've, I've learned. I don't have to travel back to my main valley, which is awesome. So I'll just go to my desert city. That sucks. Okay, so now we are out of a really great design. Dang it. I thought I had all of his recipes, but I just bought the arch window and pillar. Man, I'm jealous. I am so incredibly jealous. What am I going to use now for um, the windows? Should I just like maybe do a placeholder with the uh, tropical looking ones and just have it to get by? I think I've cleared all that. OK, maybe that's what I'll do. I don't know what else to use for a window because like I want it to look like a pirate ship. I'm going to see what options we have, but now I am sort of stumped on what window to use. So if y'all have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. Should I do a fireplace? I, could, I wonder if that would look nice. Uh, no, I, I kind of don't like that. I need to leave rooms for our tables. Okay, so let's see what windows we got to get by until I can apparently unlock those. So we could do the provincial uh, windows or we could do these kind of would work because when I play games like Skyrim, for example, they have like where the captain's rooms are. There's like these really fancy bay windows. So this could get me by. I honestly really like that for temporary. Hmm, I could go without windows. I could do that too. So we have that option. I also have this dorm room, but I can't order anymore. I don't know if I even have port windows. I mean, this is the closest to a port window <laughs> that we got. Oh my gosh, he has a couch too. Jed, I have been ignoring him. I need to remember. I could also do a boarded window. Yeah, I'm wondering if the uh, three panel windows are gonna look the best, like y'all were saying. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the Moana windows to get by. I'm gonna take that suggestion. I think you're correct on this. Until I can get the ones from Eric, I feel like this is gonna be my best bet. What you doing, Steven? All right. Make sure you take pickle with you. Nah. 
let Waffles hang out for a little bit. She's Is she doing good? Good. Um, all right, sorry, y'all. Steven's going to bed. Say so, goodnight, Steven. Good night, Steven. <laughs> all right, yeah, we're going to do these windows. I think that's a good suggestion. I want to use this table, too. I just need to figure out where. Maybe I could do, like, the little sitting area over here. And this could be like a little loot area or something. Hold on. I don't even know how long I've been streaming for. I was like, I'm only gonna stream for uh, two hours. I know for a fact we are well past that. And then my mod team's gonna call me out like they always do. How I said, oh, I'm only gonna stream for this amount of time. I know, I know. Pickle and waffles is an odd combo. It's the best combo. All right, Steven took the, the, the puppies upstairs. So it's just me and Waffles. And I think he has the cat. Hi, welcome back. Hey, you know what? I don't even know how long I've been streaming for, but I'm just, I'm having a good time. I'm hanging out with you and we're, we're being productive. Honestly, I would take a longer stream if we're having fun any day. Okay, and then we'll do... Oh, we're at two and a half hours? Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, question. Do you like the two drains or should we do something like less? Like maybe just one? What do y'all think? I kind of like the two drains. I think that's really nice looking. But if you have a better suggestion, let me know. What chairs do we got? Maybe I could do... Oh, I need to make another chair. I like the Moana windows to get by. I apparently forgot that Eric exists, Elizabeth. So we're in this together. Like, apparently I need to do better. And I don't know how to play Disney during my valley. That's what I've learned. I can't believe I've forgotten to get his recipes this whole entire time. It just shows y'all how how bad i am at this game i don't know how to play disney dream my valley i just got the rift of time dlc and i'm definitely overwhelmed with it i would take one quest at a time nicole that way you don't get overwhelmed it's just easier to take things you know slowly what was i over here crafting oh wait 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 the chair that's what i was doing brick you're a hooligan that's what you are <laughs> Okay, so let's try to find this chair. I th Where the heck is it? I wish I could drop like single coins. Y'all know what I mean? You know how like on Animal Crossing, we can drop coins and stuff to decorate with? Imagine if we could do that on Disney Dream My Valley. Am I like totally missing this? I don't see the chair that I wanted to make. Like I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'm looking again, though, just to make sure I'm not passing it. Y'all, give me one second. I don't know where my puppy went. Hold on. All right, sorry. <laughs> I actually, when I was pregnant, I never had any weird cravings. So whenever people were like, oh, I had like this combination. I was like, I never did that. I just liked chicken nuggets 24 seven. How do you become a member? The little dollar sign at the bottom of the chat where you type in. Also, thank you in advance if you're considering on becoming a member and to everybody who has been a member. That definitely helps because then we can unlock more emojis. Okay, I am literally obviously missing it. Do I not? Ha I know I have the recipe. I'm just not paying attention. There it is. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I worry about myself. That's what I, I, I do. I worry about myself tremendously. Okay, we got it. It only took like three times, but we got it. Okay, I like this so far. You know what? It's a shame that we don't have this table in like a smaller style. But I think for my table to like display all the gems on, I might do that rustic wood one that we really like. But I'm going to see what other options we got. This one right here. Yeah, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this one. 
like we'll do two underneath each window. I need to adjust the dimensions a little bit. So get be, be ready for me to like do that real fast. Hold on. And it also kind of matches the flooring and it's warm. I think the warm color palette is nice. We can also do like a little clock right there. Okay, so I think I need to move this like right here. I think that's correct, yeah. So we'll just do that and extend as needed. Welcome back. We are working on my pirate storage room. Come here, Waffles. I'm sorry, y'all. She, she wants me to hold her. Give me one. Sorry, y'all. She is only 10 weeks old. So I don't know if y'all heard that little squeak, but that was her. She was like, where did my family go? <laughs> Addison, thank you so much for becoming a member. That means the world to me. Thank you so much, friend. Can we get some hearts in the chat for uh, Addison becoming a member? Thank you so much. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Horrible Gaming Squad. I'm so incredibly thankful to have you a part of the membership. All right, let's try this over here. But she's like a baby, so it's like all she knows is that her mom is not holding her. But she's really teething right now, so it's like I can't, I can't hold you, little girl. If you're gonna do that, I can't hold you. If you're gonna bite, all right. I put her down. Now she's looking at me like my mom betrayed me. Poor thing. All right, we're gonna do that right there. Thank you so much for subbing. I appreciate it. I wish I heard a puppy squeak. She did it earlier. She was like, I don't even know how to mimic it. It was just very squeaky. She doesn't really know how to bark yet. <laughs> what you doing, Waffles? Come here. When I have my webcam on next stream, I'll show y'all her. She's so stinking tiny. She's just a little bean. All right, we're gonna do I'm gonna fix that, don't worry. But I'm gonna do the lights like right above it. I think that would be really nice, like a little center piece right there. Yes, I want to work on getting a pet cam for y'all. That is my goal this year. So we will definitely do that one of these days. <laughs> Addison, no, that means the world to me. I appreciate it, cause like that helps my channel grow. You're supporting me as a creator, you're supporting my family. Like memberships buy me groceries and that that's why they just mean so much to me. So thank you for literally becoming a member and supporting me in such a personal way. You just don't know how much that means to me. Um, I put Goofy's stall in my market. I, since we're already here, I can go show you real quick. We're gonna be live until I get the base of this done. So don't worry if you're just popping in. I still got a ways to go. So don't, don't worry. All right, let me look and see. Waffles, what are you eating? Hold on friends, give me a second. Okay, um, I put Goofy stall, sorry. It's like having a small baby again. She eats everything. So I put his stall right here in my market. So I have like a desert city and then like a dedicated market area. So that's where I put him. I just thought that it was the easiest solution. <laughs> Brick, get out of here. The market was a lot of work. It was very expensive to order and also crafts. So yes, correct. It was very difficult to do. One second, friends, hold on. Alrighty, I'm sorry, I'm back. I was putting her down. She keeps trying to eat things that she's not supposed to get, but I think she's kind of mad at me because normally around this time we're cuddling. So she's like, why isn't, why isn't my mama cuddling with me? All right, so that is where I placed his stall. Hopefully that helps and gives you some inspiration. Okay, so we're gonna do, we can place gems on top of these, correct? Because I think that that would be nice. 
should I do... I think I'm going to put dream shards and nice shards in like the little Scrooge storage chest. I think that would look good. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that. I And I'll do... Let me get those gems real quick. I'll probably do that. Um, if y'all have a better suggestion, just let me know. I need to move his house. That makes me so excited that it looks good. Yeah, I have a lot to um, to do still. Okay, so the colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow. I want it to be color, you know, color order. Small dogs are the best, they are. What are you trying to do? Come here, stop trying to eat my chair. Why are you chewing on that? She's up to no good. She is being a hooligan. Wicked, that really means a lot. I'm so glad that the videos help. And I do hope that things get better too. Okay, so you have confirmed for me that it is a small dog thing. That's why she's throwing a fit. <laughs> but she she's just a baby, so she doesn't know like why I'm ignoring her. And I feel bad because she just... She always wants attention, and I think it's super sweet. Like, this is the longest. She's only been here for a week. So this is the longest that I've gone without holding her and playing with her. So I, I think she's just probably like, why is mommy not holding me? Oh, shoot. I did not mean to do that. I was trying to pick it up. But I think she's good now. I think she's playing with her toys. Waffles, what you doing? Let me make sure she's chewing on her toy and not something she's supposed to have, and then we'll continue designing. Okay, she's good. She was playing with her ice cream stuffed animal. And yes, I bought her an ice cream stuffed animal. But she's a sweetie. She's a good girl. All right, let's go. Ooh, the archery thing. Yes. I can't wait to move them over to our cottage neighborhood. If you're interested in that speed build, it is posted on my channel. I think we did it like, what, a few days ago? So if you need any inspiration, that's where you can find it. Okay, red, orange, yellow, green. Yes, we're definitely going to be using his um, ship in a bottle. I made sure to order that because I didn't have one. I think we could put it maybe on that little table. I kind of just want this to be like a place where random loot is and stuff and like bottles. So maybe we could do that over here. I actually... I'm gonna relocate that. So this this table here could probably have his um his ship on it. I think that would be cute. And put that right there. And then green. What type of storage chest should I use? I think the brown ones would look best, in my opinion. I don't have like the extra large ones right now, so we will have to do um the small ones until I get enough dream light. I need dream light like desperately, but I need to get more larger ones. Like I have these, but I'm saving them for something else. So I think we're gonna do, like I would love to have large yellow, like all of that right there, but I don't have enough. So for like the, you know, design purpose, so it doesn't have a bunch of mismatching, I think we're just gonna do this to go, like to get us by. Let me go craft some more of these. Do we have any nice like door options at all or no? Like I know we have some that we can customize inside our home, but I don't think we have anything that would suit like a pirate ship. Are you telling me I don't have enough for a storage chest? I Okay, good, thank goodness, oops. Okay, let me make, apparently, I need to start clearing out some of these in here because I don't have enough to make more. Y'all, I got a resource grind. Y'all need to like bully me into resource grinding because yikes, we need a lot. We do, we need more like house items. So you're telling me that I don't have a nice door option. The monstrous ink door? I got a thorn door. The thorn door looks actually really nice. I'm quite shocked with that. And we got the Monsters Inc. one, which I'm gonna save for our Monsters Inc. interior. Y'all, I actually am quite shocked 
I really like that, like quite a bit. Okay, so we're gonna have to relocate this. So I will do one right there. Maybe, cause like I can just put a big old pile right here and make sure I can go in between the build. I think, yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna put like a pile in front of it and then I'll do a pile like right there. That's cute. And then I'll adjust this. I need to order some more Moana prints, but I just don't have enough. Brick, you are an absolute hooligan. Man, I, you're, you have more dream light than me though. I do not have that. Okay, so I'm gonna steal this one. We need to also tackle this storage room. I'm gonna be doing, I think like a cottage core theme in here but yeah, that could change. <laughs> we need to do also our space uh, time bending room still. So I, I am working on getting that done. Okay, so storage. I think this is coming together so far. Like I'm quite excited. I think it looks really cute. We're definitely making progress. What other things can we use okay so I am planning to use two of these by the way this is gonna be I think for dream light shards and stuff maybe I'll do like one right here and then one over here what do we think about that actually wait for to keep it like functional I think I'm gonna just do the two Scrooge chests like next to each other and this can be for dream my shards and whatnot. How many should I place down for this? Like, do you have a recommendation? Do you think this is plenty of space? Cause I think it should be. Where are y'all putting your, um, what are they called? Those crystals from the mining, like the mines in the sunlit plateau. Where are you putting that at two? But I think two should be enough. 130 likes, what? Thank you so much. I did not realize we had so many likes on today's stream. That means the world to me. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much for being here. The haunted painting actually looks really good too, which I'm shocked about. I actually really like that. Maybe I will do like a tiered look with it. And then we can, can we not lift these up higher? Well, that's rude. We can't lift those up higher. I mean, it looks cute though, so I'll leave it. All right, so wall decor. Let's see what we got. I think Jet said something about using these. So I'm gonna use that. 120 is still amazing. Thank you so much for all the likes on today's stream. Thank you for being here and just know that your lurks, your chats, all of it is appreciated. Y'all just don't even know. Just you being here with me today means the world to me. I'll do this maybe right there. What other wall decor? We also have this golden balance. So this would be really cute for like the loot part. I'm gonna do that like right there. All right, and then we're gonna do another wall art. These Moana wall arts are so good. Like I'm obsessed with them. This could be cute, like as wall clutter. Like maybe I could do like a little collage wall or something, I don't know. Where do I wanna put this? I wanna use these, I just don't know where. I don't know, this could be cute. Maybe, Never mind. It looks brown, but when I placed it, it was not. Yay, play some Disney Dream My Valley. Ooh. I really like that mirror. That's an option too. Okay, so this is really cute. Brick, I need another Disney Dream My Valley stream from you. That's what I need. I need to see Brick designing in Disney Dream My Valley. That's what I want you to do. <laughs> can, you, can, can we make it happen? Oh, that's, that's rude. It doesn't center. I mean, I could kind of get it to center if I do one more 
storage chest. It depends on like which um which version you buy of Disney Dream My Valley, but for me personally, I would get the most expensive one. You get the most moonstones with it, and you get a bunch of items with it. So for me personally, I would get that. Hey, question. Do we like the brick wallpaper? Like, look at that. That's kind of cute. I don't have anything else that's nice looking, though. Like, yeah, I don't like that. That's actually quite cute. I was not expecting that to look so good. Thank you so much, y'all, for all the likes on today's stream. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Brick Boss, for the new like goal. Thank you for all the lurks today. Thank you for all the chatting. Thank you for all the new members and the new subs, if I've gotten any, because for some reason, I hope it works for y'all's end. I still cannot see if I get a new like or, um, or a new sub goal or like subscriber. There we go. Words are hard. Still cannot see them on my end. But if I rewatch my streams, like skim through them, I can see them that way. It makes no sense. Um, okay, let's see. I think I paid like over 60 for mine. Y'all give me a second. I, I smell pooey. I think my puppy must have pooeyed. Let me go double check. Hold on. Okay, I think, <laughs> I think she just tooted. I was like, I smell something stinky. And she was like right underneath my feet. So I think she just might've tooted. All right, um, what other things do I want to place? I need to add some more wall decor and I think some more illumination. So maybe we'll do some candles and stuff. I have her on my lap, by the way. So give me a second if I'm working a little slow. I just don't want her to jump off. You gonna lay down? You gonna sit and lay down? Me, okay, she needs a bath, y'all. I think she needs to get a bath tonight. Hold on one second. She's trying to play, bless her heart. Ooh, okay, this this is actually really nice. Which one should I do, though? I, I think I'm gonna stick with the, um, the octopus one. I think that's what we're gonna do, but I actually really like this quite a bit. Okay, uh, ooh, the, the candlesticks. Oh, tell your little brother I said hello. It is definitely a really fun game. It I get lost in the game so easily too. <laughs> Who will we not get, do you think? Oh my gosh, I am so incredibly excited for the Paleo update. Yes, we're going to be streaming it. I literally got us our thumbnail ready to go. Like I am ready. I cannot wait to play. I'm excited to see what we get. All right, we're gonna do candles right there. Um, more, we need to get some barrels. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the base of this done and whatever I can't finish, we'll just do it next stream and we'll go raid Nick. I swear though, every time I say I'm gonna raid Nick, he raids me for uh, forced, oh my gosh, first. <laughs> so hopefully we can actually successfully raid him. It's just every single time I'm like I'm going to raid Nick and he always gets to me first. Um, okay, so I do like that. What should I place like in front? Y'all think I should maybe do an L shape with my tables? Maybe I'll do that. Like push this down to right here and just L shape. I think that would be nice. Oh, he just started. Okay, good. Perfect. Literally the last few times I've tried to raid Nick, he has stopped streaming. So that's, that's good to know. <laughs> I have the worst luck. Oh, wait a second. I am really torn about this. I wanted to do an L shape, but I would have to remove one of my treasure chests, which I think actually could be pretty cute. I could do like some decor around it. 
Um, okay, so the resolution on the Switch is absolutely garbage. <laughs> as much as I love the Nintendo Switch, it's a very outdated console. So yes, it's blurry for me too, but on my newer console, it's not as blurry. So I don't know if it's just because, oh, there's a thunderstorm by the way. So sorry if y'all hear that. I don't know if it's because my console is older, but it was blurry for me too. Hopefully they will give us like an, an update that fixes the resolution a little bit, but it's, I'm quite shocked that it runs like it does on the Switch because it's an, an, uh, an MMO. So yeah, I felt like it was really blurry too. Yeah, it's a, it's a free game too. So if you're looking for something that is like Animal Crossing and Disney Dream Life Valley, Palea is basically that, but you have a really immersive um, multiplayer. It's definitely worth it. I just don't like how it runs on the Switch, but I also mainly game on my PC. So I play games at 4K and the, the Switch resolution is 1080. So I think I'm just really spoiled by my gaming computer and that's why I hate it. But I do feel like it's blurry on the Switch regardless. I think it needs a little bit of a resolution adjustment. They're always fixing the resolution too, like adjusting the saturation and how the game visually looks with each update I've noticed. So hopefully they will um, improve it where it's needed, you know? But I don't know, I just don't like playing games on my PC anymore. Yeah, as someone said, if you play it on a monitor or the TV, it's not blurry. So you, if you have the option of playing like on your TV, I would highly recommend it for sure. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do, okay, so red, orange, yellow, green, purple, blue, don't judge me. I do not know the colors of my rainbow. And then pink? If I remember correctly, Pink. what are you eating now? Y'all give me one second. Okay, sorry y'all, I feel so bad. So she's really small and regular dog collars don't fit her. So she's in a cat collar. She was chewing on her collar and her mouth got stuck. Like the bottom of her jaw got stuck inside the loop of the cat collar. I am so thankful that I turned my head and noticed that because Poor baby. Now she's looking at me. I feel so awful. I'm gonna have to adjust her collar. Poor thing. Yes, I am so sorry that I went silent real fast. I did not want her to get hurt. Like I went into panic mama mode. I'm so sorry about that. I just didn't want her to get hurt. I know. So I'm very, very sorry that I just like disappeared for a second. Literally, I just, my, my mama mode went on, but she's okay. I don't know if Halia is on the Xbox. I actually don't know the answer to that one. Also, we have a thunderstorm, so I apologize if um, y'all can hear that. Would a harness be better for walking her? I do have a harness. Put this into perspective on how small she is. I bought a extra, extra small harness. It does not fit her. She's under two pounds. So an extra, extra small does not fit her. And even in a cat size, only cat collar fits her right now. So um, I just feel so bad. Like she is tiny, tiny, tiny. She's a toy poodle. She is a tiny little thing. I just feel so awful. Oh my gosh, really? I hope, I'm so glad you're loving Palea. It is definitely my go-to cozy game. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do, let me see. Ooh, there is a big thunderstorm going on, nice. I love gaming 
when we have a nice thunderstorm. My only concern though right now is hopefully it does not mess with my connection. If it does, we got a good stream in. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I might have to look into um, guinea pig sizes. <laughs> she is a tiny little thing. Like if once she hits five pounds, which she won't be hitting until she's full grown, then I can get her small dog sizes. But yeah, I did not expect her to be so teeny tiny. If there's any, by the way, buffering, just know that there is a nasty thunderstorm right now. So just know if it becomes an issue, we, I think we're at a good pause point. Yeah, she is the youngest uh, puppy I have ever had. But now she's not nighting in my arms. Poor thing. You know what I think it was? I think she was just frustrated that I wasn't holding her. So she was trying to entertain herself. And I mean, like she has plenty of toys, but she's still a baby. She don't know any better. But I am literally so glad I noticed that. So, um, yeah, I just went into mama panic mode. I did not want that poor thing to um, get hurt. But she's worth it. She is so worth it. Should I do maybe this chair? Do we have any decent like stools or not? I think we do. Oh, give me one second, friends. Um, it's kind of buffering for me on, on my end. Let me know if my connection is still decent for y'all. I was not expecting to get a rainstorm. Hopefully we'll stay, we'll stay good and we won't have any issues, but just in case. Yeah, she is tiny. I've dreamed of having a toy poodle my whole entire life. Like these are my top favorite dogs. And uh, I finally got my dream dog and I'm just on cloud nine. Like I never thought I was gonna own one of these. I've always had like mixed breeds and don't get me wrong. I love, I love our animals tremendously, but this is like the most excited I've been in such a long time. Cause I have wanted them for so long. <laughs> Yes, a toy poodle named Waffles. <laughs> she is the cutest little thing ever. Um, hold on one second. Give me one second. I'm trying to look for a chair. Yeah, if you're curious on what she looks like, I posted on Twitter, which um, you can find it in the description. But if for some reason, because links don't work uh, on my stream sometimes, you can uh, type in horrible gaming and I'll show up. <laughs> Okay, I am so thankful that y'all can hear the audio fine because the whole the whole roof is falling out right now. Like there is a thunderstorm and heavy rain. We got the simple stool. What do you think? The simple stool I think could be a, a cute addition. What other things can we add? I really want to use this like a sitting area. If I move, yikes, it is like, the sky is like falling out right now. Do y'all hear that? Jeez, it is pouring down rain. Um, all right, let me put maybe this like right here. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I, I it was between my top three favorite small dogs are Yorkies, Maltese, and toy poodle. I do like Shih Tzus, but my mother-in-law's Shih Tzu is a complete demon. Like he's just evil. He's so aggressive. I don't know why he's so aggressive, but he is. So um, his aggressiveness kind of ruined it for me. So uh, I wanted one of those type of dogs. And I had the option of a white toy poodle or a brown toy poodle. I almost got the brown toy poodle, but she had such a sweet face. Like she's pure white, but has cream ears and a cream tail. It's like a, a dark tan cream, I would say. She was just very different looking. She had just the cutest markings. So yeah, she was the one that I chose. Ooh, I might do this banner. This is really nice. Thank y'all so much. Yeah, she's a sweetie. She has really helped me with my mental health. I've had a lot of very personal things going on, which I've, I've talked about on Twitter, but I don't want to talk about on, on my stream because it's major trigger warning. But I've had a really bad last couple of months, to put it lightly. So she has been helping me in such a, a personal way. 
So I'm very thankful for her. She came honestly into our lives at such a perfect time. She's such a good girl. I will be taking her to the groomer, but I have been given her trims on her faces on her faces. Oh my gosh. On her face and her feet and getting her used to the blow dryer. So I have been doing that. Like my hair, my hair cutting skills are not that good. <laughs> so I am working on getting her used to it. I'm going to get, I'm going to take her to her first appointment when she gets her rabies. But yeah, that's what the, um, the breeder told me is to make sure she gets used to who her face getting messed with. Dogs are truly the best. Like dogs are just incredible. We don't deserve them. But she is the absolute best dog ever for her age. Like, honestly, she's not as bad as the other dogs that we have. Like, they were really bad as puppies. Like, they got into everything. She's such a good listener. She's honestly been really good. They are. They truly are the best. We don't deserve them. We do not deserve them. Should I use the teapot in here? Like, as little clutter? What do y'all think? I kind of like that, actually. It's like more gold decor. Like since this is like a little sitting area, they could have like a little spot to drink tea and whatnot. I don't know. Y'all let me know if that looks bad, <laughs> but I kind of like it. Then we'll do, I want to use this somewhere too. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. I just love, I just love dogs. But she is my very first like tiny, tiny dog. Like she's smaller than Pickle, which is insane to me because Pickle is a Pomeranian. And I didn't think dogs could get smaller than that until I got her. Oh, Shepherd mixes are cute. Those are good dogs too. Dogs are awesome. Decorative shield could be a nice like accent. Maybe I'll do that right there. Oh, yeah, I have had plenty of dogs growing up that are huge and they act tiny. Yeah, big dogs are made for hunting for sure. And tiny dogs are made to be a companion, like small dogs in general. Oh, yeah, poodles are so smart. Like she knows I've only had her for almost a week. She knows her potty pad so well already. And she already knows how to sit like she learned sit within 10 minutes and she knows it by command now like she isn't even treat driven by it i'm just shocked i've never had a dog as intelligent as she is like it's insane but that is another reason why that i decided to go toy poodle too because they make great companions and just they're smart they are quick learners and i love that so she is she's been awesome Oh my gosh, I had an Australian Shepherd growing up. I grew up on a farm, so most of the dogs that I've had growing up are cattle dogs. So I never had small dogs growing up. But now that, you know, I live on my own, um, I really wanted to have my, my dream small dog. In a perfect world, I would get all of my dream dogs, but I cannot afford that. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're gonna enjoy the animals that we have right now and just, you know, enjoy our time with them. She's gonna be our last baby. And, and we got many years with her too, which is awesome. She'll get to grow up with my daughter. So it's perfect. Oh, Schnauzers are so cute. That's another great dog breed. They're really smart too. Where do I want this? I wanna use this somewhere. I might actually like relocate this and put it right next to it. Y'all, this is turning out so cute. What do we think? Oh, you grew up on the farm too? That's awesome. Yeah, I I had chickens, goats. We also had um, turkeys too. But yeah, farm life was awesome. I, I grew up with a ton of animals, so I think that's why I'm, I'm a huge animal lover just because like my whole entire childhood was around that. I think I'm gonna do the candle, like a second one. Is this leveled or am I going crazy? I can't tell, I think it is. And then I'll move this up to about right there. Yes, like this stream. Thank you so much for being here today, by the way, everyone. 
I like this so far. No. I think I need to move over this gold pile a little bit. I also need to take a drink of my coffee. Y'all, give me a second. I forgot to take a drink of my coffee. I just filled it up. One moment. All right, back. Sorry about that. Took a big old drink. This is why I'm so glad that I have a Yeti cup because it'll keep things warm for like hours. Y'all, I might move this down like a smidge, like right there. Cute, okay. Now I just need to think about what else I wanted to place. Okay, so I do like this a lot. I, I do think though, we're missing something. I don't know what to do on this wall. This wall is actually stressing me out. If y'all have any ideas, definitely let me know. I could add a couple more barrels. I mean, you can never have too many barrels. Yeah, we're doing a pirate ship storage room that's inspired by um, I'm Not Dead Jet. I have her linked in the video's description, but Jet inspired me to do this for my storage room. So this is going to be, this is my gem room. So that's what we're doing today. We've been blaming Jet for everything lately. <laughs> Jet made me spiral. Oh, gold Scrooge. Okay, yeah, I do have that. Thank you so much, Sunshine. I'm so sorry that I missed your message. Sometimes it does happen. Thank you for re restating that, by the way. I definitely want to place this. Let's do it right there. <laughs> Jet pops in. We're blaming you again for this the uh, the spiral for your pirate ship. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, there, it's like between the rainstorm and then uh, waffles. Her eating her collar. It's like everything happened. Dog talk over decor talk any day. Honestly, I could I could spend all day talking about my dog. I could. Yeah, I don't know what to do on this wall. That I'm stumped on. Maybe I can do also another like lantern, like right here. That's what I'll do. Oh, wait a second. I also have the, um, where is it? But yes, this is like super inspired by Jet. Jet had big brain energy and made this gorgeous pirate ship, so. I told Jet earlier, I was like, can I like steal this idea? Cause I want to make it into my gen room. But like, I think Jet did her entire uh, pirate ship, like a storage theme, if I'm correct. The floral mirrors side by side would be cool. The floral mirrors. Okay, let me look. Do I not, I could have swore, is there a pirate themed rug? Do I not have one? I could make like a burlap. Uh, rug if I had to I could have swore there was like a pirate ship rug. I could also use the Ursula Ooh, actually I love that. Oh Yes, I love that tremendously And because I have purple on this I think that looks really cute, too. Yeah, okay So I really want to if I ever get the energy to do this jet I want to turn now my pirate ship into a storage theme like so bad but then it's like the motivation to remove everything and redo it that's that's where I'm like I don't know if I want to do that now but one of these days I'll do it and then we'll do the black one and can we place these on tables at all or no I just love that idea though you're the only person I've seen who has done an entire pirate ship with that Oh, Brick Boss, thank you so much for the shout out. That was really sweet. Thank you. Okay, so in a perfect world, this would not be a shiny version, but I'm doing that just to kind of get by. So just know I will be swapping this out. And then we're gonna do some random gems over here. You craft it, of course you craft it, and I don't have this, darn. Yep, I do not have the recipe. So I guess I'll be out of luck for a little bit. Okay, we'll put those gems right there. That's awful, though. Should I do 
Let's see. Sorry, I'm going in and out of de uh, decorating mode. I'm so used to the game constantly deleting everything that I do. It honestly has me worried 24 seven. So I may or may not be paranoid. Okay, I'm gonna put this back actually, like right there. I wish I had another set of posters. Okay, the floral mirrors. Which floral mirrors are you re uh, referring to? Let me go back. Is it under wall or um, art? Because I don't think I have this, but I'll double check. Okay, so I have stained glass window. I got a lagoon mirror. Oh, these ones. Okay. You were saying next to each other, like two of them? Is that what you were uh, recommending? I can try it. Oh, those are really cute. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah, I like that. It has like a gold color palette to it. Maybe I could do one and have like a sitting area. Hmm. Let me look and try. Hold on. All right. I do like that, actually. No worries, Addison. Thank you so much for becoming a member, by the way, today. Thank you for hanging out on stream. And I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. And work goes really fast because I know that work is definitely not fun. So have a wonderful day. I appreciate it. Let me go through like my all tab and we'll, let's just see what we come across. We also got the magic mirror. The magic mirror could be really cool too because obviously like this is a bunch of treasures and stuff. So I kind of want to maybe use that. I think I might do one and like some lanterns on the side because I do actually really like that. Should I use this magic mirror or do you think I should save that for the haunted castle? Because I do plan to design that in, at some point. Um, what other things do we got? I know I have plenty of great options. It's just trying to figure out where everything is. All right, let's do a lantern right there. Um, I'm trying to see what else we can add. I have these two, which could be really nice to add maybe. I don't know, which one do y'all like more? Should I do this one or the red banner? It's been three hours, okay. Give me, <laughs> give me like what, 10 more minutes? Let's try to get some wall details done and try to add a few more details because I know people recreate stuff and follow these streams. I just want to make sure they have enough to refer to, like, you know, enough done in the build. So let's go for a few more minutes. Going on four hours. I said I wasn't going to do a four hour stream. I am a fibber. Now I know why my mods give me such a horrible time. They're just like this girl. She says she's going to do something and then streams for four hours. All right. Let me add a couple more details and then we'll go raid. Because I need to eat something, too. I'm getting pretty hungry. Where is... I'm trying to look for it. Where is these little barrels? They're like little stacked barrels. Um, I'm trying to find them. I know I crafted them. Ooh, we got more haunted paintings. I forgot about these. I'm going to do... Honestly, I think I'm going to put that over there and move this. I kind of like the haunted paintings like next to each other. Maybe I'll do that. Oops, I did not mean to move this. <laughs> I know I always stream longer than I say, but you know what? I got a pretty long stream in today, so that means I can rest over the weekend. Like I'll, I'll get us a video out, but the fact we got a long stream in means that I can kind of relax over the next couple of days. So I'll take it. But with all that being said, I'm just a fibber. All I do is fib. I always say I'm never going to stream long and then I four hours goes by. <laughs> also, welcome back. I may be playing some paleo after before I uh, go to bed. So I'll play until I pass out. 
So we will still do our paleo time if you want to try to start getting that VPN in case you're going to play or not. Okay, I know I have these. Let me go down there. Sorry if you hear any bells in the background. My cat's going crazy. Okay, so I got those, but I know I have like a, a stack of three. Um, where, where do I want to put this? Did y'all tell me or not if you wanted to keep these drains? Because I kind of just want to do one. I kind of want to do like one that's off-centered. Yeah, I like one. I'm going to do the, just one. And then we'll do... Maybe I'll push this gold pile forward. And... Oh, I can't get it to fit. Yeah, I do like the one. It's less distractive. Something fell off with it. Like, I know that several of you said to do two. And I don't think your idea is bad. Please don't ever think that. I'm just very picky. <laughs> so please don't ever think that I didn't think your idea was good. But I, I kind of want to do one. I'm leaning towards it. Can I still access the uh, storage over here? Oh, darn. Okay, if I move it down a smidge, I can. That's what I'll do. This will all be kind of for looks. We'll move this down a little. Oh, apparently I can't. Dang it. That's going to be an issue. Unless I do like the cluster of gold, maybe over here. Let me move this down a little. You can't do dream snaps on Eternity Isle? No way. Why couldn't you do it on Eternity Isle? There, no, there has to be a way. You, are you being serious? I could have swore you could. I thought I saw somebody do a dream snap on Eternity Isle. That, that's shocking. Really? I literally thought I saw somebody post yesterday that they did one. Maybe they just did items from Eternity Isle. Maybe that's what we saw. I really, truly thought I saw somebody do Dream Snaps there. That's, you know what it probably is? Not everyone has the DLC. So I'm wondering if they wanted it to be fair. And, but it's just like the biome. Which I, I guess I understand why they would make that decision, but that sucks. Because you could make a really gorgeous post there. All right, let's do maybe that right there. Okay, so I like, I love this lant, but I can't, I can't use it. I do, I have a Discord server, but apparently every single time we try to use the Discord link. It doesn't work. So one of my mods is going to have to get you a fresh link. Gotcha. I guess I, I understand why they did it. But that still is a major bummer. I could have swore. Maybe, you know what they're probably doing? Now that I think about it, they're probably using Eternity Isle clusters. And it looks like it's on Eternity Isle, but it isn't. Maybe that's what we've been seeing. I could be wrong though. How come these candles are there? Let's do that right there. You can, do, do you have any touch of magic? Is that what it is? It will not give you the option? That's odd. I don't understand why it wouldn't. Is the Eric um, boat item that y'all are talking about earlier, by the way, under a little mermaid. I think it is. Also, we got the jewelry right there. We'll put this right there. Uh, oh, there it is. I want to find a spot for this. I need to, I don't know. I need to find like a, a little crate or something. It's a shame. Does anyone else get bummed out about this? That we can't place decor like on top of the barrels? Because I really wish we could do that. I'm trying to see what else I could use in here. I might just get like a barrel table from the Tangled Collection. That's what I'm probably going to do. Yeah, let me get that real quick. Yes, me too. I love 
how it looks. It's so good. All right, I am gonna add the barrel table like right there and then place Eric's boat. Are you, no, <gasps> that's so rude. It doesn't work. It does not work. Are you kidding me? If I do another crate though, it will. So maybe I'll just go look for the, um, for a crate. That's annoying. That just makes no sense. Yeah, I've had issues where Dream Snaps has been finicky before, so it's not fun, but it has happened if that helps at all. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do his uh, boat on this. Oh, the Discord link worked? Wow, I'm, I'm actually quite shocked on this because every time people ask me for um, my Discord server, I literally can't get it to work. Like my mod team always has to get a uh, fresh link for y'all. So that's a shocking thing actually. Okay, so I got that placed and then we'll do uh, the pirate ship. What else should I add? I mean, we're really close to being finished. I do want to, in this empty spot right here, friends, I really want to do like a shelf with some statues or something on it. But like, yeah, we're really close to being done. There is a couple of minor details that I would love to add in the future, but I really love this. I'm also gonna turn this lamp off. I think it would look better. What else though? I might move these down a little bit and do some more barrels, like a couple of more. So let me make that adjustment. Cause like, if you think about it, the pirate ships, they always have a ton of barrels like in their loot areas. So I'm gonna add two more barrels. Okay, and then it's just honestly details at this rate. It honestly, that's all it is. Just a bunch of detailing. And there's a couple of items that I do need to get from Eric that I just don't have, apparently. I forgot to get recipes from him this whole entire time. So if you're new to Disney Dream My Valley, yeah, don't do what I did. Make sure, make sure to get all of his recipes. My biggest regret, honestly, is not getting all those. I totally forgot about them. And then that little gold flower is a pretty cute uh, filler. So I need to do some serious mining, basically, because like I need to get more gems, but it's it's pretty much done. I mean, we got orange and then I need to get some more mining done and like restock these. But yeah, I feel like I'm after I place those storage chests down, let me go see what I can steal from here because we're needing to redo my main storage room regardless. So let me steal some of this and I'll like clear out most of all these chests like off stream, but I need to get uh, four more. Let me see if there's, a, is there any in here? Okay, that one's really full. I can steal this one. So two. But I really like how this is looking. This is definitely one of my favorite rooms besides the other ones we've done. I have documented, by the way, every single themed storage room. So if you're wanting to get some inspiration or just like go back into those streams, they have been posted. <laughs> Eric is the uh, prince from Ariel. Unless y'all are joking with me because like jokes go over my head because I'm silly like that and y'all ignore him because I usually ignore him too. He gets really annoying. All right, let me place this right there. I think I'm gonna have to move that lantern. That's a bummer. All right, one, two, three. Okay, looks like the heavy rain stopped outside. That's good. <laughs> He's banned from your valley. Yeah, I usually I, I'm I'm usually hiding him because I'm so tired of hearing him play his dang flute. Like every five seconds, dude is always playing it. So he's he's banned from mine too currently. Do I like this? 
do I keep this lantern? I just don't know where to put it. I think I might remove it and move this down a little bit. Oh, yay, I can't wait to see your selfie. I always love it when y'all share photos of your valley. I love seeing what you create, you know? It's awesome. Okay, let me go get one more storage chest and then we can kind of just like look over this. But I think we're, we're at a good pause point. Like any extra details, I'll just have to get them on my own time because I need to do so much resource gathering and also need to get more recipes from Eric. So I'll do that off camera, but I wanted to at least get the base done. So we'll do one more. All right, and then we'll do, I guess an over, overlook of it. See where we're at. I don't know what I'll do for these last two like designs, but I'll come up with something. Anything else that y'all can think of to add to this? I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out really cute. I think that it definitely gives off pirate theme storage room vibes. And I like that it's not like a luxury storage room because like a lot of people do that. I feel like this is a little bit different. I'm pretty happy. I think it's cute. I might do one of these glass pebbles as like a little detail on the floor because I really love decorating with resources. But yeah, I'm like really happy with this. Like I'll do a little cluster right there. This is cute. I'm so excited. It definitely came together. <laughs> yeah, Mother Gothel. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I usually banish her from my uh, valley too. <laughs> Okay, so this is the storage room and I will, like I said, I do have some detailing I need to still do and I'll add those details and get it done for next stream. Like there's a lot of wall decor that I want to still add. Like I would love to do, and I need to get some tropical wood for it, but I would love to do like tropical wood shelf, like right here and like display maybe some more gems on there, like maybe crystals or something. And I would love to do the same right here. So I need to get those. And if you're also new to my channel, these are some of the other storage rooms that we have done. Let me adjust my time of day before we go. I think this is where I need to be. No, one more forward. So we got our flower storage room. This is for like the main valley only. So we did this on a stream and I do have the thumbnail if you want to go check it out. But that is one of my storage rooms. So I'm doing like themed storage for every single resource. I think I'm gonna actually do like a fish themed room for all the uh, seafood in the game. So I'm probably gonna re like remove this and I do plan to redo this kitchen. This was like my very first food uh, storage room and I really want to redo it because I've unlocked more since then. So I'm planning to redo that. I need to do this room still. And then on my second floor, we also have our time bending room, which I need to do on a stream. I'm planning to get like stuff for it. And then we did, this is the DLC florals. So this is attorney aisle um, items. So that's what this room is. So I have a lot to still do, but I think we're making lots of progress. So that is everything I've done so far on our themed storage rooms. I'm really excited about the gem room. I'm quite happy with it. So once I get those details made, I think it'll be a really nice uh, storage room. Okay, so before I go, um, if you've missed several streams, we did this build on one of my recent live streams. This is an uh, improved version of my desert city. I need to finish this up. So I'll probably do this with y'all on a stream. We can do like more themed markets together. And then over here, I don't really know what my plan is yet. We're gonna need to come up with some ideas. I'm gonna finish getting Gaston leveled up so I can move him over to the main valley. This over here, don't know what I'm doing with it yet, but that's where I placed Eric. So I'm trying to go for like a, like a desert city sort of look. So I need to figure out who's gonna go over there. And then this is Moana's house. We did this recently on a video. And then over here, if I can find it, I'm so bad about navigating Eternity Isle. 
Oh, this is where I put Simba and Nala. Just ignore the fact that I have a bunch of resources. Gonna disclaim that now. Everything has spawned everywhere. And then I also have Mirabelle's casita over here. So that was another video. Literally everything on Eternity Isle has been documented. So I have a lot done. And then over here, and by the way, I'm keeping this flower for decor. I just love these flowers. They're like the best resource that spawns on Eternity Isle. They're just so, they remind me of like Jurassic Park. I don't know. I just love them. They're so good. So that's like a little camping area. Of course, ignore any random spawns. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, and then I have this recorded. Um, this is a, a abandoned conservatory for Wally. I did move Eve actually like over here because I'm planning to do like a futuristic garden for her. So I did move her over there, just like a personal preference. Um, originally she was in that speed build though, if you do want to keep them together. Getting buried is a luxury. Uh, what else? I think that's everything. I think I've shown y'all everything on Eternity Isle. Uh, we did do a little bit of a valley tour in the beginning of the stream if you want to see my progress over there. I'm going to be finishing up my forest of valor probably in the next stream or so. And I am planning, if you're one of my Animal Crossing followers, before next Disney Dream My Valley stream, if I can find all the codes that I need, I would love to do the second part of us working on my no terraform island. So I'm going to do some code hunting for it tomorrow. I think I might use uh, Colin Crossing's tropical road and sand codes because I never got to use them before. And I think the sand code also comes with a water code. So it's like an all in one package. So I think that's what I'm going to do tomorrow is try to get like all those codes together. Um, I wanted to do another stream this weekend, but I don't know what's going to happen, like what to expect, because we have a really busy next couple of days. So just keep your notifications on. If it doesn't work out, I will be streaming again next Thursday. I've been trying out a Thursday schedule, but obviously this week I had to do Friday, but usually I stream on Thursdays currently. And I'm just trying to find a new stream schedule that kind of works with my lifestyle and works with you know my video schedule too so my streams are kind of all over the place right now so bear with me while i try to find a new routine that works so just like make make sure your notifications on um let me go see if i can get nick on my redirect and we can go do a raid i am starving i need to make some food okay let me see if i can get that redirect if you don't know beacon of nick Nick is like one of my greatest friends ever. Such an amazing person. You will love his channel. He has cozy gaming vibes. He does Disney Dream My Valley, uh, Nintendo games. I know, I think he was, what, wasn't he playing Animal Crossing for a while? I'm pretty sure he was. Thank you so much, uh, Brick, too, by the way, for helping in chat. I don't know if you're going to be on Paleo, but I am going on right after I get some food. Uh, if you want to come over to Raid, type in hashtag horrible gaming raid into his chat. Make sure you stay on this chat. Do not leave. It'll redirect you. Um, let me go ahead and get a fresh link. <laughs> you have waffles. <laughs> no, get out of here. You're crazy. Is Nick not streaming anymore? It's not showing up for me. Wait a second. Wait a second. Beacon. I swear if he stops streaming, hold on, Beacon of Nick. Okay, he's streaming. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Okay, it didn't show up for me. I was like, where's Nick's channel? Okay, here is Nick, by the way. There we go. All right, I will see you over there. Let me get him set up on my redirect. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for such a great stream. Thank you for all the help on this room. Again, huge shout out to Jet for inspiring today's storage room. Uh, yes, we he started like an hour and a half ago. I know I couldn't it couldn't I couldn't find him. I had to like refresh my entire YouTube. I think YouTube is just being finicky today. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to figure out where my redirect button is. It moved. 
Okay, there it is. All right, let me get this set up and I will see you over there on Nick's channel. Thank you again for such a wonderful stream. I will see you soon and I will get a couple of speed builds out in the next couple of days for us too. Oh, wait a second. When is the Paleo update? Hold on, hold on. I told you next Thursday, but let me see. Okay, we're gonna have to be streaming on Tuesday because like the Paleo update drops. So I will see you on Tuesday for next live stream instead because we have that Paleo update coming. So Tuesday, I will see y'all there. It is the 30th, correct? I think it is the 30th. I will be streaming the Paleo update and if I have enough energy and time, we will do our usual Thursday stream too. But yeah, now I'm having to adjust everything. So I will see you then on Tuesday. Thank you again so very much for today. And of course, as usual, have a horrible day and see you over there on Nick's channel for the raid. The stream should redirect you over when I stop it. Thank you again, mod team, for the help today. Y'all are the best. I love you tons. And uh, thank you all so much for just the help today. I really do appreciate it. And I think that's a wrap. Okay, see you over there on Nick's stream. Bye, y'all.